Welcome, everybody, to day 13 of uh, our live stream of Fallout 76. I don't know why I'm naming them. It's, it's the 13th day I've been broadcasting the, the game. It's not like officially day 13 or anything like that. But uh, here I am. It's 10 a.m. on this wonderful, lovely Saturday morning. And I'm so glad to have you all here with me. I'm still getting used to my new broadcasting schedule. Uh, got my coffee in hand, and this is seeing me through. Cheers. <sighs> That's better. I was up till 4 a.m. last night working on a new lore video. Part three of our Mistress of Mystery series. Uh, if you missed episode two, I published it on Friday. Friday is not typically a good day for publishing um, lore videos, at least I've found over the past few years. So I might have to alter my schedule again. But on Tuesday, we published... Um, no, it was on Wednesday, we published episode one, Riverside Manor for the Mistress... Or I'm sorry, the Order of Mysteries questline. Then on Friday, we published episode two... Um, another great lore-filled video, and I just finished rendering episode three, where we go to Lewisburg. Uh, I'm, I'll be publishing that tomorrow morning, but today, well, let's do an eight-hour live stream. Why not? Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be broadcasting today, but it is going to be a long time. I'm going to try to remember to break it into... Um, four-hour segments so that, you know, we don't get the issues that we've had with my previous live streams of, of YouTube not getting the full eight hours or whatever uh, until many days later. But if you go back to my previous live streams, all the hours are there except for episode one. That's the only one that I still have an issue. Razor Gaming says, or no, Razor Raging says, hey, Ox, just wanted to say have a great stream. Thanks very much. Uh, and I'm glad you're here to join us. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We had a blast here at uh, the Oxhorn household. <clears throat> had a lot of family over. This was the first Thanksgiving we ever hosted. <laughs> you feel like a real, you know, grown up when you, you host your first Thanksgiving. But uh, we finally had everyone, the whole family from uh, all over the place here for Thanksgiving. It was great. Many of them hadn't seen our house yet, so it was good to give them the tour. And none of them had seen my office yet, so this was a big surprise for, for all of them, especially my computer, my water-cooled computer. Uh, they didn't know such things existed. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun kind of telling the same story over and over again, how to water-cool a PC, uh, which was great. I actually like telling that story a lot. Um, I'm no expert. I made mistakes. If you recall, when I first built it, it leaked. Uh, so yeah, I had to announce that on Twitter because I had to delay a, sh a show because of that. But I finally got it put together. Anyway, uh, back to the program. Here's the plan. <clears throat> when we logged out uh, last time, we were in the middle of uh, the bog. And uh, we had just... We're, we're following the primary quest line. And, and the way the, f the primary quest line of Fallout 76 works is it takes each, each faction. And you go through each faction's story. We did the responders. We did the raiders. We're now going through the Free States faction. So we're in the Cranberry Bog, I think. And we're uncovering all of these bunkers that the Free States secessionists went to before the bombs dropped. But they're all dead, of course. They're all dead. And right now we're trying to uncover why. If they bu bury themselves in bunkers before the bombs drop, why are they all dead? Well, we are learning the secrets. In our last episode, we discovered Dire Chemical, and we explored all over the place, but we found three locked doors that we couldn't gain access to. I turned the place upside down, trying to find the key card to gain access, and we never found it. But it just so happens that if you follow the Free State's quest line, eventually you find the key card on the corpse of one of the people you find. And it's actually a side quest broken off of the primary quest. Only if you go to Harper's Ferry and then continue with the side quest you get by going to Harper's Ferry do you find this key card. So we just got the key card and I want to complete that. Let's go to Dire Chemical, find out what's underneath it, and then we'll continue with the primary Free States quest. Now my character is not exactly where I left off. 
<clears throat> because I had to move him around to shoot some uh, footage, some pickup footage, for my, uh, my latest lore video, which I'm going to be publishing tomorrow. So let's find out where he is and then get him back into position. Uh, also, I'm going to have to be extremely vigilant because my last uh, live stream was demonetized. Not, <clears throat> not because of the PA music inside <clears throat> the Galleria, pardon me, as I thought, but because of that doggone iBot. So there's a random encounter where, you, where you'll stumble upon an iBot playing a bunch of uh, Enclave music, and behind him are trailing a bunch of little rats. It's, it's like a Pied Piper Easter egg. Uh, the problem is that that Enclave music is copyrighted, apparently. Uh, and I didn't kill it, and I, I got demonetized. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to get through that. If we stumble upon that iPod, that iBot again, he's done. He's dead. I'm just going to kill him. Got to avoid that demonetization. All right. Back to the game. Turn down the sound of bed ox. I will, don't you worry. When I log in, that, that is the first thing I will do. Gemma says, one of the things I'm thankful for, Ox, is you. Oh, that's very sweet. Well, one of the things I'm thankful for is all of you for coming to the, my programs and watching my lore videos. You make it all possible. Wow. <clears throat> I'm not even 10 minutes in. Great to have all of you here. Happy Saturday. That's right, it is the weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how, uh, what I wanna do because um, the lore videos uh, on Friday don't, don't do quite as well. Um, if I have to take days off, I usually take, um, um, well, if I have to not publish content, I won't publish it on Mondays and Fridays because historically those have been my poorest performing days. Mondays because everyone's in the doldrums, they have to get up and go to work and school. And Fridays because everybody is eager for the weekend, you know, and they want to go out and party and have fun and they're not sitting there watching YouTube videos. Okay, here we are in Lewisburg. Let's, before we fast travel, here, here's one of the bad things about being a content creator for fo uh, Fallout 76. <clears throat> because if you have to fly all over the map to get pickup footage, you're constantly fast traveling and spending a ton of money. I'm getting low on caps. I don't even, uh, how many, ch I only have 258 left. I had over a thousand at one point. Let's just sell some stuff while we're here. Now trading for supplies, ammunition, and gear. What, what do I even have to sell? I could go through all of this junk I don't really need. Oh, but I do need it all. It's all tagged. Uh, what can I get rid of? Daniel says, hey, Ox, keep up the good work. Thanks, Daniel. Welcome, citizen. I am authorized Loose to rules. trade supplies. Man, I, need, it's, it's, uh, I don't need glue. Okay. I've got plenty of glue. I'm actually doing pretty good on oil. Steven says, from one Fallout fan to another. Well, thank you very much. I'm, I I'm Stock doing okay on wood. now while supplies are available. And plastic. I think I'm okay on plastic. Really, it's springs and anything with springs. I need to, I need to keep. I can get rid of my tin cans. Let's see, I've only sold what, 15 caps worth of stuff. Be sure Soap, to I'll sell stop that. Up while you can. And I think I'm good on acid, too. So let's sell the cigarette packs. Plastic plate. Okay, I've got I got 30 caps out of this guy. <clears throat> Maybe there's aid for I can supplies. sell. Ammunition and this gear. this bot just won't be quiet. Robot, be quiet. Okay, let's see. Actually, I have uh, I can sell the diluted stuff. I don't need that. And purified. I've got forty bottles of purified water. Let's see if I can sell. Don't face the wasteland without the proper supply. There we go. That's the caps right. 
Whoops. Whoops. I <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well I sold I sold 30 30 bottles of purified water. Uh Whoops. Okay. 10 will get me through. Oh dear. Ammunition oh, and other supplies available. Okay, be careful here. Oxhorn. I I've got more rad away than I need. Uh, let's not make that mistake again. Let's let's really only sell 10 this time. <clears throat> and then let's really only you know, I've got way more rat away than rat X, so let's Re really supply here, really sell citizen. Ten. Hayden says, Hello Oxhorn, you're my favorite YouTuber. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad to to be your favorite YouTuber. Thank you. And okay. I do have all that ammunition. Uh, and how am I doing on ammo while I'm here? 149. I'm not too worried about caliber balls. Mike McCarthy says, Hey, Ox, love the lore vids. Tell me you're going to do a Brotherhood of Steel one in 76, please. Well, I'm uh, definitely going to go through the entire Brotherhood of Steel story. I don't know if I'm going to do a dedicated Brotherhood of Steel uh, run, um, as in, like, um, you know, making my character a Brotherhood of Steel character. I'm, I think I'm okay on ammunition for now. So yeah, I'm, I'm dressed in my Mistress of Mystery garb. It's not its not really flatter, flattering on this character. <laughs> but I had to get the screenshots. All right, let's, let's put that back. We, got, we don't need the garb of mysteries. We'll put that back. Now I need to choose between my hazmat suit and the prototype hazmat suit that I got from the quest. This one is orange, this one's yellow. <clears throat> let's see, what's the difference? They both weigh five pounds. They both give us a thousand damage resist. They're both worth 69 caps, but this one is orange. And that one's yellow. Whoa, come on. Oh, really? You're gonna do this to me, server? Looks like the server's having problems. Let's uh, just take a look at the two. So, okay, so the prototype hazmat suit uh, that we got from Dire Chemical is like a yellow, a mustard orange. And then the typical hazmat suit is a much darker orange. Well, who needs camouflage? Let's, uh, let's go with the prototype hazmat suit. <clears throat> but I don't need to carry both, so let's let's dump this back in here. Wow, why is it taking so long to deposit it? And then I've got this stand fast as a, a quest reward. Hayden says, do you still do scotch and smoke rings? Yes, I had to cancel scotch and smoke rings on Thursday because, you know, Thanksgiving. But uh, maybe today. I might do scotch and smoke rings tonight, depending on how this broadcast goes. If, it, if, if I'm just too tired by the end of the day, then I, I'll cancel it. But if, if I'm not, then I will do scotch and smoke rings tonight. So I'll, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to let you know later on. Rainer Murillo, uh, Murillo says, have you gotten the weapon, the Daisy Cutter, an experimental fat man with the MIRV mod? The quest is an organic solution of the video. Uh, I think I might have, yeah, right there. I did, level 35, and I didn't want to scrap it because, well, it is a legendary quest item, and so there it is. Don't know what I'm going to do with it because I'm not, uh, I'm not a, um, you know, a big guns character. Tar Heel says, pro tip, only equip lock, pick, and hacker before use, then you can go back to rifleman or whatever. Helps in combat, keep up the great work. Thanks, that is a great pro tip, but honestly, I'm totally happy to sacrifice in-game efficiency for convenience. I really, really, really don't want to have to open up my perk dialogue menu and swap cards before each terminal and save. That would just drive me crazy. So I'm probably not going to do that. Okay, what else can I deposit to lighten the load? I don't need, I don't need stand fast. Now, weapons. That boy Frankie says, from one Seattleite to another, hope you and your family had a great Thanksgiving. Keep up the great work, and I hope to see you in Fallout 76 someday. Well, thank you very much. I hope to see you as well. 
Now I did get this compensated armor piercing radium rifle. That's interesting to me. Is there a weapons workbench out here somewhere? Sold <laughs> almost all of my purified water. Oh, I hope that won't come to bite me in the butt. Like hey, purified water! Oh, come on. Oh, and I got a plan. Alright, let's read that plan. Oh my gosh. Okay, then there's one thing I, I wanted to test out. And that's... Okay, Black Diamond. Plus one to strength. Damage 78. You know what? I should really be doing this back at my camp. Okay, I'm going to fast travel back to camp. Uh, and then I'll have to fast travel all the way over... Over... Here. To Dire Chemical. Uh, okay, let's go to the camp. It's on the way. Oh! For Pete's sake! I can't ever step into that sort of thing, because if I do, it'll consume all my fusion cores, which I'm storing in there. Hayden says, are you playing PC, Xbox, or PS4? I am playing on the PC. Level up? Yes, yes, I do need to level up. I, I will level up. Good, uh, good call. All right. Well, now that I'm no longer encumbered, let's head back to camp, where I can inspect some of my weapons, see if I can upgrade my black diamond. But I'm definitely going to see if I can upgrade my uh, sword of Bastet. <clears throat> I heard turrets. Does that mean mole rats? Are mole rats gonna come and get me? That they killed me last time. I think I'm okay. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade Black Diamond to a higher level. We can add. Metal shards or escape it goes down one. Let's switch to craft. Now it looks like we can't upgrade that weapon, but we can upgrade the blade of Bastet. What's the level 45 version look like? It's 78. Uh, weighs three pounds. Medium speed. So I save 0.3 pounds. And I lose plus one strength. What do I get from the Blade of Bastet? Does it give me plus one to strength? No, it doesn't. Okay, so the one I've got is better. Lumen says you should go to the vendor at Harper's Ferry and buy the Dragon, a four-barrel black powder rifle. Yeah, as we discovered in my last live stream, As we discovered in my last live stream, the Black Dragon doesn't appear um, at specific vendors. So um, I actually tried to track him down at the Watoga Station because uh, one of the viewers said that he was at Watoga Station, but it wasn't there. So it's I think it's a random 
chance of finding it on a vendor, a vendor at any given day. Hey, Alex, do you have any tips on keeping a sufficient amount of inventory space? I think all of my fusion cores are weighing me down. My tips on fusion cores is store them in a separate frame. So I have a separate frame of power armor here. And the entire power armor frame is locked in at 10 pounds. This is my primary power armor frame. This suit of power armor is better, but I'm using this suit because it increases carrying capacity by 100. But as you can see, I'm storing all of my excess fusion cores on this suit because all of the armor attached to this frame and all of the fusion cores inserted into it still only weigh 10 pounds. So yes, I do have to carry around a 10 pound frame, but I can store 30, 80, a million pounds worth of gear on this frame and it still only weighs 10 pounds. Okay, I don't need to make ammunition. Uh, let's see, can I make fertilizer? Yep. And let's see what plants I can craft. Potato plants. I really want to be able to craft more carrots. Actually, do I have any carrots? Carrots? I thought I planted at least... There we go. One carrot. I want to make sure I replant that. Honestly, I have enough. Look at all these tato plants I have and all this mute fruit. I guess I don't need to craft any more mute fruit and tato plants. I need to diversify. Let's let's plant more carrot and then see if I can get some razor green and all of that. Corn. I really need to plant some more corn. Where's my other carrot? There we go. Let's, uh, while we're here, let's loot the carrot flowers, because we can make a nice tea out of those. Take up some of that boiled water in my inventory. No more carrots around here. Silt bean, but that's not good. <clears throat> and then, uh, ooh, firecracker berry. What's a firecracker berry? I wonder what I can do there. Just harvest a few, harvest a few crops around here. This ended, this turned out to be a great little campsite. I'm pretty pleased with it. I will eventually rebuild my cabin. I had to scrap it due to a bug that they patched in a recent update to the game. Uh, the bug basically uh, shattered my blueprint, broke it up into a dozen different pieces, uh, and I couldn't, I just couldn't do anything. What? Thanks for the silver pocket watch, chump. Darmus lives with a tip. Thank you so much. Anyone else? It's usually not just one. Did he destroy my turret? He did. Ah, oh, I really need to spend some time on my camp to make it better fortified so that I don't lose my turrets when my ghoul attacks. <clears throat> all right, all right. I'm pretty good <clears throat> with adhesive. Like, I really don't need to loot any more adhesive. Uh, so I, but I also don't need to craft vegetable star starch for adhesive. But let's see, what am I missing for vegetable starch? Let's go to our chem station and see if we can craft some vegetable starch. No. Where would that be? Where would I make vegetable starch? Wasn't it at a chemistry station before? Maybe I haven't unlocked the, the recipe. Uh, JKB Davis says, honest thoughts on Fallout 76 version crea versus Creation Club smelting. Um, uh, the, the quests in Fallout 76 are great. Uh, they're better than the Creation Club quests, if that's the comparison that you're wanting drawn. I've, I've enjoyed all of the, m many of the Creation Club quests, but, um... Hey, Firecracker Berry Juice! Boiled water, Firecracker Berry, and wood. I'll try it. Silk Bean Puree. Potato Juice. Let's go get some boiled water. 
I've got plenty of Rad-X and Rad-Away. And how much dirty water do I have? 34! Oh, I don't need that much, but hey, free experience. Let's turn dirty water into boiled water. Free experience! Let's make carrot flower nectar. Mute fruit juice. And potato juice. Alright, I think I am now all stocked up on uh, drinks and food. Let's, do we have any more? Okay, I turned all of my dirty water into boiled water. Wow, I went through 30 bottles of dirty water to craft all those juices. And I think we're good. Spoiled meat, let's put that in the shop or in the, in the camp for now. So we're not carrying it around. But we save it for the fertilizer. Okay, let's rest on up. Wow, I don't, need, I don't need to waste it, but I've got so many of them. I like the yellow suit. Looks better than the orange one, I think. Sad you can't see your face through the helmet. But oh well. You can hear him gently snoring. <laughs> Which is great. Jamin says, are you able to build a greenhouse for your crops? I'm just wondering if having them in an enclosure would protect them from Scorch Beast attacks. Yeah, I mean, if you do, uh, the Scorch Beast will destroy the building. <laughs> when a Scorch Beast attacked my last camp, it, it just devastated my structure. But... Um, it also devastated my plants. So yeah, if you put them inside, I think it will be protected. B. David Greenwell with a tip. Thank you very much, B. David. All right, let's eat, drink, be merry, and then be on our way. Where am I at? Oh, I need I need all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's try that firecracker berry juice. Ooh, nice. Man, that heals a lot. Uh, let's see, silk bean puree. That's a soup. That's going to do both. You see that? Man, soups are the way to go. Just stock up on a bunch of soups. And uh, takes care of hunger and thirst. Uh, then let's get through our carrot flower nectar. That's the smallest stack. I'm good on water. Now food. Food is the one thing. I have no food. And I'm not carrying any meats. Vegetable starch is in the cooking station in the utilities tab. Thank you. All right, let's go. Uh, thank you, Michael. Let's go to utility vegetable starch. There it is. Corn. So that's it. I need to plant corn. And it consumes purified water? Man. No thanks. I get enough adhesive in the wasteland. Uh, all right. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we can find some boxed foods where we are going. Should be okay. In we go. Oh, level up. Thank you very much. I still don't know why they continue to show this to me. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Where's my... There it is. I've got Master Shotgunner. I think I got Pain Train. I think some of my things here are completely out of order. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Oh no, did I lose it? Oh no, there it is. Okay, 9, 11, 3, 4. 9, 11, 3, 4, 14, 8, 7. 9, 11, 3, 4, 14, 8, 7. 9, 11, 3, 4, 14, 8, 7. A couple points in agility and a couple points in intelligence. 
And I'm 40, I'm 45 now. I got Master Shotgunner. So Pain Train 3. Okay. Oh, but Pain Train 3 only comes at 46, right? So I can put one point into Agility. And then let's see if... I've got Pain Train 3. I already have Pain Train, Pain Train 3. Better criticals in luck. Let's see, do I need... I'm, I'm good on luck. I don't want to spend any more points on luck. Uh, let's see if I can find better criticals. There's class free. Better criticals. I don't have it yet. Okay, so then let's uh, choose from our other stash. Gunsmith, power smith. Power smith three. I do need to reduce expert rifleman to one to save time. And rifleman to one. Okay, so let's take a look. I have one in rifleman. One expert rifleman. Oh, come on. One expert rifleman, but then... Oh, I had to remove Rifleman. You see how I have three cards here into Rifleman? I didn't want to do that because it just it was a waste of perk card points. So that's what I should buy. I should buy Rifleman 1. That'll give me what I need. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Rifleman 1. But I'm going to put the point into a chill. And then go to... Perception... And get right. <laughs> then I need to make room. What do I have in here that I don't want? Concentrated fire. I think. Extra long pitch, long shot, master pick lock, master rifleman pick lock, sniper. Yeah, it was concentrated fire. I didn't have that in the And that'll complete my perception. All right. 11. I've got it all done. Now let's go back to agility. And I've got one point to spend. Let's see. What, what do I got here? Uh... Goat legs, marathoner, sprinting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's do that. Rainier says, Oxron, did you know if you're lucky enough to tick blood can turn into 64 diluted syntax? I had no idea. I have never been that lucky. Bello says, good night, Oxron. Wish I could watch the stream for longer, but I have to go back to third shift hours. Peace, all. Do what you got to do. Business before pleasure. I'm, th I'm thankful that you were able to make it. Have a good night. Do you have Power Patcher? It is part of my bill. Uh, I've got it in Intelligence. No, I've got Power Smith. That's what I wanted. Your crafted power armor now has improved durability, though I am told that this is glitched at the moment. So I don't know if I want to continue to keep it in my, in my bill. Um, power Patcher. Looks like I don't have Power Patcher as part of my... Um, build. But uh, let's check the condition of our weapons before we go on. Yeah, it's okay. Oh! Yeah, but it's really expensive. Alright, let's do it. Okay, that's great. 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 Cryptid says, Oxhorn equals favorite YouTube level. Thank you so much. Now, that's one thing I wanted to check out the radium rifle. I know I'm 
I'm delaying the inevitable here, but uh, I just want to, I'm curious, I want to see what I can do with this radium rifle. Is it possible to turn a radium rifle into a sniper rifle? Just uh, for the sake of exploring here. It's only a level 40 item up for a map. Uh, well, I just don't have the mods for it yet. True long barrel. Forceful stock. Perforating magazine versus a standard magazine in a short scope. It is possible. But you know. It does that extra radiation damage, but uh, this was great against raiders in Fallout 4. But everyone's dead <laughs> in Fallout 76. What would I need a radium rifle for? What enemy is weak to radiation damage? Everything's irradiated. All of the creatures are irradiated. The super mutants are irradiated. Ah, I'm suddenly, I'm suddenly no longer needing this weapon. Let's, uh, let's scrap it just for the mods. Oh, PVP. Yeah, it may be PVP. That's right. Thanks, everybody. Good for PVP. Well, I don't plan to do a lot of that, so let's get on our way. Raphael says, what would be a good way to level up fast? Just do the primary plot. You'll get, uh, you'll level up just exceedingly fast. You'll, you'll be fine. Uh, okay, so enter the dire chemical sewers. Rally Clay's Bunker. Here's one thing I wanted to explore first, which was Haven Church. This is where I was when I logged out because it was near Haven Church that we found the body is where we got the key card. So for continuity in my lore video, I am going to have to start from here. But I also want to explore the church, which I haven't had an opportunity to explore yet. And I'm loving this lever action rifle, by the way. Also, part of it is that I hate having an, a discovered location that I haven't legitimately explored yet. So let's explore the church. It's probably going to be small. A short little uh, jaunt. Let's open the front door. See if these evil vines mean anything. What? Oh, can't open the front door. Let's go around, see if we can find an alternative access point. The vines are just creeping into this thing. It's like some sort of horror film. Vines into a church. What could this mean? There's a playground in the back and an attached barn. Maybe we'll find a way inside from there. Oh! Looks like uh, they took the kids out on white water rapid uh, rides for Sunday school or something. Sounds fun. Shotgun. Hello? That was weird. Okay, we got a Sunday school here. Uh, syringe or ammo, don't need that. Let's see, 45 round, yes. Gunpowder, yes. 50 caliber ball, hey, Scrounger. I'm gonna have to get rid of Scrounger. It's not part of my finished build, but I am liking it so far. Lucy Harwick's note. Oh, I hope I'm not getting ahead of myself here. If you're reading this, then you've become one of the changed. People call you hateful things like monsters and ghouls. The truth is you're no different than they are. They're simply scared of their own possible future. Nature has decided this is what is to become of you. Therefore, it was meant to be. I wanted you to know that despite the hatred, there is a home for you. It's a place where you can gather with others like yourself to weather this storm. Find us at the Valley Gallery of Years in Appalachia. We promise to welcome you with open arms and, more importantly, hearts. I was reading! 
rude. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so that marks the Galleria on our map, but we already explored that in yesterday's episode. Is this Lucy? No, it's a vault dweller. But which vault? They never show us the... They never show us the number. Which vault was it? Lucy Harwick. I'm going to have to look through my footage to see if I can piece that together. What have we here? Skigs. Terminal. Skill lock one. Jamin says, isn't a concentrated fire a waste of a card slot? I mean, you only have so much time to target in vats and even less time to target specific body parts. It's a waste of a perk slot if the enemy is running right at you, I think. But if you're sniping someone from a distance, it could be useful in certain sneak situations where you're trying to get a sneak critical with a sniper rifle or, say, a black powder rifle in a specific part where you know that the enemy is weak. B. David Greenwell says, Oxhorn, you're the first YouTuber that I've ever donated money to. Love the content, and my day isn't complete without your videos. You're very kind, and I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Hey, look at that. Skig rules piss off. 12, 14, 77. <clears throat> Man, this place was a total bust. Brock said the idiots that were holed up here would have tons of good stuff, but they didn't have crap. We were going to ask the people where they stashed everything, but Cal went crazy and mowed them all down. We tossed the bodies out back and then started setting up camp. I hope this spot is worth all the trouble. Oh, no. Well, we need to explore out back, see if we can find a mass grave. <clears throat> but that was the year the bombs dropped, so wow, raiders came early here. We've been here a few weeks now, and things are looking good. We scored a couple of caravans and took part of a rival gang that tried to push us out of the church. I figured if we keep this up, we'll be sitting on a nice pile of loot by mid-year. That'll give us plenty of uh, to trade with when we start running low on ammunition. Callus got us out hunting for game like the old days, so we're eating well. I wish we had more liquor, but everything around here is bone dry. Well, yeah, it was a church. In February, I woke up in the middle of the night hearing some kind of weird music playing. I thought someone got drunk and was playing a hollow tape, but everyone was sound asleep. I checked around the outside of the church and couldn't hear it anymore, so I gave up. When I asked around every, um, in the morning, everyone just said I was probably drunk or being stupid. I sure hope these idiots aren't screwing with me because it's not funny to ruin a man's sleep. Okay, are we talking about haunted stuff here, or is he mentioning the iBot that roams the road nearby that demonetized me last week? And the rest of the gang are starting to hear music from the church now. This place is starting to creep me out. Cal said it was music from something called an organ, but the only organs I know are the kind you get when you gut a deer. I think he's full of crap. If you ask me, the folks that got killed in this place are trying to send us a message to move on. Maybe we should listen. And in the final one, First, the creepy music, and now we have crazy people stalking the church. They swarmed the place last night. Weirdos looked like they were burnt, and they smelled awful. I don't know what the hell they wanted, but Cal was dug in and said we needed to fight for what's ours. We shot a few of them, but they kept coming until they were all dead. What the hell were those things? And will there be more? I'm not sticking around to find out. Ghouls? swarmed by ghouls, but that doesn't explain the music. Oh. So there is a front door. Okay. Formal complaint. Dear Pastor Williams, I was picking up my Susie from Sunday school when I encountered an extremely rude and foul-tempered Miss Nanny by the name of Chloe, uh, Chloe. I believe she is property of the Davis family. This Miss Nanny refused to leave the washroom, declaring she was hiding in a game of hide-and-seek. A hackman says, I'm sorry to say, but this, as a Fallout nerd, I can't watch anything off 76, because in my opinion, it's an insult to the Fallout fans. Well... My uh, recommendation would be 
to choose when and where you get insulted more carefully. If one decides that fewer things in life are insulting, one has a much happier life. Um, not only was she a robot hiding in a washroom that living, breathing souls need to use, but she had also locked the door, barring any chance for a child to find her regardless. I demand an apology from the Davis family and want their Miss Nanny banned from the premises. Expect to hear from our lawyer should I ever see that filthy robot on the grounds again. Sincerely, Beverly Klein. She's going to sue a church because one of their members brings a Miss Nanny? Okay. Recipe red scorpion filet. I think I have that, but I'll take it. Capstash. Cool. 11, though. Fall retreat flyer. Annual Fall retre Retreat. Join us for the annual Fall Retreat at Dolly Sods. Basic food and drinks will be provided, but an additional table will also be set up for potluck dishes. Activities have been organized for both children and adults. When, when October 30th at 10 a.m., 8 p.m., where Dolly Sods, this event is hosted by Scoutmaster Charlie. We've been to the Donny Sods campground, and so wait a minute, there were church members and the scouts were there? Uh, okay. I don't remember seeing that many bodies. Um, all right, I'm already starting to get a little nervous about this church. There's a hole in the floor. Uh, okay. Is this going to lead to some... Oh, no. Am I going to be getting some sort of... Uh, let's let's hope that this isn't a, uh, a Dunwich sort of thing. Oh, why not? We're in a church. Let's play the organ. Wake up the dead. Start an exorcism or something. Attacked. <laughs> you always uh, gotta be careful hopping out of power armor. Especially when you hear people walking around. Oh, hello. Oh, I can play the mouth harp? I gotta. I'm sorry, I gotta. harp so bad okay I gotta I gotta get back in my power armor let's see 50 caliber ball glowing blood glowing meat another black powder rifle a spear a battered clipboard gunpowder Ooh, let's take a look at that black powder rifle is the best I had I did wake the dead man a putrid glowing one oh, goodness all right uh oh it's level 35 so it's completely a waste of my time just really heavy. I could have sworn there was another one. Wasn't there another one? 
Oh, that started a miscellaneous quest, find Chloe at Berkeley Springs. No, that was the miscellaneous quest, quest I picked up at the Galleria. Garrett says, hey, Ox, I'm a huge fan, dedicated to, uh, decided to buy out Fallout 76 because of your live streams. I've had all Thanksgiving week off and I've been binge watching all of your 76 streams. I'm almost caught up. Have a tip on me and keep it, keep it up, Garrett. You are so kind. Uh, thank you so much. And I hope you really enjoy Fallout 76 like I do. What's this? Prayer. Dear Lord, I pray to you for strength and tolerance for knowledge and confidence in these dark times, to know how to live like this, to know how to wait for you, and for the ability to help others survive this test, the test you promised would never happen again. Well, I mean, he promised a deluge would never happen again. Not a deluge of nuclear fire. We'll grab that for the uh, mods. And the medics is really the only chem I need. Of course, we'll find pastor vestments. Might as well scrap stuff while we're here. You know what? I should probably grab this. And... Whoa! Uh, okay. <laughs> Man, that was weird. <laughs> Uh, I was pressing the wrong buttons. All right, let's scrap the weapons we got so we can save space before going down. Automatic shotgun. Actually, wait a minute. What level is that? Level 30. Mine's level 40. Okay. And the black powder rifle. Bone shards? I get bone shards from scrapping a black powder rifle? Um, all right. Well, this was not what I had on the agenda today, but heck, we're here. Might as well. Is that the pastor? He's climbing up. Oh, they really fortified themselves. Hunting rifle. Oh! Canned dog food. That's what I came for. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're playing a Fallout game if you get excited over canned dog food. I'm so hungry. Okay. Honestly, this is reminding me of the Fallout 4 mod uh, uh, 1080, uh, Vault 1080, something like that. Let's hope it doesn't end here. If this is it, I'll be disappointed after all that build up. Okay, we've got a skeleton here. Something cataclysmic did indeed happen here. Oh! All sorts of skeletons in the bottom. Vines growing down here. Mur uh, Murmur, the rememberer, says, Hey, I'm a huge fan. I loved all your videos. Glad to see you're enjoying 76 despite what everyone says. Hope to run into you in game. Cheers. I guess that's it. I guess, uh, I guess that's it. I guess you get too far into it. A glowing, a glowing one spawns, and that's the boss. Man, such potential. Such potential for this place to have a, you know, a Dunwich thing going on. But no, I guess that's it. Unless I'm missing something. Am I missing, like, a secret hatch or... Let's go around back, see if we can find the pit where the raiders dumped all the bodies. Though it's possible we won't find anything. It may just have been part of the lore and they, don't, they didn't actually end. Whoa, big lag spike. Whoa, wow, come on guys. It's possible they didn't actually include that or that the bodies decomposed long ago. But they said they dumped them out back. Nothing on our map indicating a burial site. And that's where I found uh, the body that had the card. O 
Okil says, Hey Ox, I just found a dual legendary explosive instigating combat rifle. Wow, now that is a fine. I am looking forward to finding a double shot weapon. A double shot black powder weapon in particular. That would, that would be pretty great. Okay, so this is where I found the body related to the quest. Was at the, uh, she was at the base of, uh, of this antenna. There we go. Randy Calloway. So I already got his quest items. And also the ones on the other one. Oh! Is that, is that body gone? Oh, here it is. Nary Samir. Yeah, Nary. Okay. So, Dire Chemical. Find Chloe at Berkeley Springs. Investigate the Southern Bell Motel. What? Ah, I'm getting so many quests. I want to finish the ones I'm on first, guys. How did I get the Southern Bell Motel quest? Did that happen in the church? Or did I just get too close to the... All right, I'm going to turn those off just because it's mucking everything up. Find Chloe at Berkeley Springs. Tracking unknowns. That's the one I want. Investigate the Southern Bell Hotel. Oh, it's a daily quest. Should I do it? I mean, I am here. I'm right there. Doggone it. Let's do it. I'm right here. Might as well get that daily quest under our, under our belt. Michelle, my bell. What if we'll find a Michelle here? Ryan says, good morning, Ox. Hope your Thanksgiving was good. It was fantastic. Had a blast. There's the Southern Bell Motel. Oh, I hear music. Where's the music? Uh, idle explosive. malfunction detected. Unit is immobile. Precinct unresponsive. Request for repairs. Failed. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where, where's that music coming from, Doc Bonnet? Why do they got to do this to me? I want to do this quest, but I can't with music blaring. Talk to Boomer. All right, I'll talk to Boomer, but I got to turn off this dog on music before I get demonetized. Where is it? And it's always hidden. Ugh. Are you playing the music, Boomer? What? What? Precinct Ugh. unresponsive. Request for repairs. Okay, before we talk to Boomer, let's head upstairs. Maybe we can find that dog on radio. It's like they're doing it to me on purpose. They're hiding these radios in inconspicuous places so that I just get demonetized. Oh, I hear it on the other side of this door. Let me pick the lock really quickly before I get uh, demonetized by Danny K. Ah! Oh, sorry about that. It's just... Three broadcasts. I've lost monetization on three broadcasts so far because of stuff like that. Okay, now, continuing on with the quest. 
No, you cannot simply turn off radios and settings. Believe me, I would have done it by now. Okay, Check Boomer. Status. Identity of saboteur remains unknown. Civilians advised to exercise caution. I'm trying. Greetings, able bodied citizen under law enforcement code D 4793. U. Are now a deputy of the Berkeley Springs Police Department. It is now your responsibility as an able bodied citizen to carry out the duty of this bomb disposal unit, codename Boomer. Information will be uploaded to your pit boy. Locate and recover the explosive device or devices to fulfill your civic duty good luck citizen your chance of success is 47.93 percent <laughs> thanks love your vote of confidence in me boomer ox download mod to disable Hardware radios it doesn't work function unit is in i already downloaded and, and tried using it and sadly it did not work let's see where are the bombs are Civic all over duties here? are their own reward. The Valley Galleria, which I already explored. Lori Doyle says, Hi, Oxhorn. My name is Keegan, and I watched your videos for two years, and I can't turn, and I turned 11 eight days ago, and I got Fallout 76, but my PlayStation 4 is broken. I can't play it, but I still love your videos. Keep me updated. Uh, thanks, man. I will be sure to keep you updated. Requesting repairs. Because I will be creating these videos for quite some time. Alright, so it wants me to go to the Galleria again. That's the second quest I've gotten that has had me go to the Galleria. I wish I would have stacked them. Had I known. All right, let's go explore what was in that manager's office. I'm guessing springs are in those. Civic duties are their own reward. Probably stop tracking oil, but then again, I am going to need it for power armor. Wow, a lot of stuff that I was tracking in here. There was a hollow tape in the Galleria parking lot. Did I miss that? All right, well, let's go finish this daily quest, and uh, then we can go continue with the main primary quest. Hello, hello. What have we here? Operation success will be acknowledged and rewarded. Michael Gonzalez says, I saw that on Xbox there was a slider in the audio tab for ambient sound and radio. Is it there for PC? Um, there is uh, a slider for radio, but uh, it only affects your radio. It doesn't affect radios in the game. The radios in the game are tied to the effects slider. Uh, so I could turn off all sound effects, but that, of course, wouldn't make for a very interesting stream. Uh, okay, let's go to the Valley Galleria. Finish this daily quest, and then on to Dire Chemical. I love all of the gatekeeping that you see. <laughs> You're not a real Fallout fan if you play this game. Fallout 76 isn't for real fans. No, real fans only like Van Buren. <laughs> A holotape in the parking lot, you said. Is that, uh, let's see, is it in here? Timothy says, is there a persistent flag you can set in your any file to set all radios to off? 
Uh, no, sadly. I appreciate all of your troubleshooting help, everybody, but uh, sadly there's no easy fix for this. The only way you could do it is to... Um... So Bethesda came out with a solution for console players. They created a script that automatically removes or mutes all copyrighted music uh, during a live stream. So if you're streaming from the Xbox or the PlayStation, you're okay. They sadly did not provide such a, lo a solution for PC players. Um, so really, my only hope is that someone will figure out a way to create a mod that just simply replaces all music in the game with static. I mean, I know how to make a mod like that if this were Fallout 4. I made myself a mod like that, but it... Um, didn't work. It caused the game to crash. Alright, we did explore the E here in our last episode. So it looks like we need to go inside again to get the bombs. Recover the bombs. And I'm assuming sugar bombs. I'm assuming this robot is just stupid. And <laughs> we have to get sugar bombs. Uh, let's see if we can find this holotape. Someone in the comments said that there was a holotape in the parking lot. Hey, thank you for the tip, Anonymous. Message redacted. Well, I don't know what you said, but I'm really grateful for the tip. Huh. Well, maybe I'll find it when I come back outside, but, uh... Yeah, I don't see the uh, holotip in the parking lot. Maybe it's in here. Whoa! What are these gents doing? Sunglasses and bottles of booze and a baby carriage? Well, they're having a party, aren't they? <laughs> uh, let's explore over here. I don't think we did a full scan of the exterior while we were here last. We kind of whipped through here quickly last because I really wanted to get back to the main quest. But uh, let's give it some due diligence now by doing the full perimeter sweep, which we failed to do. Ox, you're hungry. I know. Kill something. Yeah, kill something. I need it. Hey, but you know what? If I'm going to be inside this shop, I might as well get some boxes of food. Let's see if we can find some boxes. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a back. We got some delivery trucks back here. We missed this last time. Ooh, it's dark. It's back in this little cubby. Hello. Nope, nothing. Alright, let's head inside and find those bombs. Sugar bombs. Hopefully. Maybe I'll need some. Wait, is that was that a diner? Nope. It's a shop. Eat! I don't know, what's in this cart? Whoa! Someone was having fun. Ah, another doggone blasted radio! Shosh! Food, 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 any food. Boxed food, I don't care. Dog food, any kind of food. Yes! Fancy lads. That's it? Just one fancy lads? 
Come on, something. Something. I gotta stave off this hunger. Looks like that's it. Let's eat the fancy lads. Ooh, I can eat a melon. If I can find a campfire, I can cook up some meat. All right, inside we go. Ash says, yes, Oxhorn here to save the day again. Well, I'm glad to have you on the program. My question is, what do the scorched believers believe? They believe in the scorched beast. Oh, that's right. There's that PA music going on, so I'm going to have to turn that down. There's no way I can um, turn that off because it's um, part of the environment. <clears throat> so you're going to hear really low music for a little bit. All right, let's follow the quest markers. Let's see. And there's no local map helping us out. Great. Okay, one over there. Looks like that's the closest one. And since I already explored this place, I don't really want to do it again. Unless there's something I missed. If you know of something that I missed, just feel free to let me know. Um, but I already scrubbed this place upside down, top to bottom in, in our last broadcast. So let's just go get the bombs, maybe see if we can find some food, and then head on our way. Oh, it is a bomb. Holy cow, this place was rigged with explosives? Okay, well, I, I thought it was sugar bombs, but no, it's a bomb. The, the butthurt says, what do you think about all the negative reviews about Fallout 76? Are the, they unfair? Or does this game actually feel unfinished in areas? There's plenty of legitimate criticism for this game. Um, oops. Uh, it's frozen. Why is it frozen? Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh! <coughs> okay. It's at least once a broadcast. What? So what was I saying? Plenty of legitimate criticism about this game? <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of legitimate... Um, Criticism for this game like that like random crashing when you just open up your uh, Your pip boy when you're about to get in combat. This is not the first time I've crashed to desktop simply by opening my pip boy on accident when, when trying to engage vats um, Now, you know far be it from me to call a, a, an honest Impassioned review unfair because I think there are a lot of people who are genuinely uh, giving their honest opinions about the game, and their honest opinion is that the game is crap. And that's totally fine. Um, the, the problem is when you've got a huge amount of people who have never even played the game who still will review it, like all of these unverified purchases that are just, you know, downvoting the game on a variety of online ranking sites having never played the game. They just don't like the idea. And those are the reviews that I, I don't have a lot of stock in. Those are not necessarily fair. Um, but th there is plenty of criticism. The thing is, every game has bugs. Every game can be criticized. And you just have to decide for yourself it's just, if, it, if it's so bad, if the bugs and glitches and gameplay mechanics are so bad that you just can't derive any amount of pleasure from it. And for some people, uh, and now it's, Oh wow, okay, let's turn this, let's turn off all the music that's been going on here. For some people, that's Fallout 76, and that's okay. No one is forcing anybody to derive pleasure from playing this game. But for other people, they, uh, they can overlook all of the 
weird issues with the game and its glaring faults, and, and they can still find enjoyment out of it. For them, you know, it's it's a great experience. And then you have all of these people who just want to rob players of that joy. You know, they, they, they pay their money to play the game, they're having a really good time, and then all of these players are just trying to ruin that experience for no other reason than so that they can feel justified in their own um, uh, decision to not play it themselves. Uh, it's, it's almost like you've got a certain small group of anti-Fallout 76 evangelists who have made it their mission to go door to door or YouTube video to YouTube video and to, to knock on that door to convert people into believing that Fallout 76 is not as fun as, uh, as people believe it is. And that kind of thing just bothers me. Like, if you don't like it, great. You want to criticize it? Fine. You've got a, legit, a legitimate opinion having played the game? Awesome. You can't tolerate someone else enjoying the game? Now we've got an issue. Holy cow, lots of comments. Um, Liam says, Oxford, I will unsubscribe if you only play Fallout 76. Okay. The Aftermath says, what Fallout game slash DLC is your favorite? Um, I love them all. I think my favorite DLC for, for Fallout 4 is Far Harbor. And for New Vegas would probably be Lonesome Road. HK74 says, hey, Ox, use, use the can-do perk with the good doggy. It makes food a non-issue with no spoiling. That makes sense, but it does take up two perk slots. Do I really want to deal with that? I don't know. The butthurt says that answers my question. Lol. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad I answered your question. <laughs> James says, uh, Hey, Oxhorn. Love your streams. Thanks for making me fall in love with Fallout. You are welcome. Okay, gosh. Let's go inside and finish this doggone daily... Did I lose my daily quest? Really? Really? Wow. I just don't even know what to say. Wow. Okay. That just... Wow. Whatever, man. I'm going back to Dire Chemical. <laughs> Let's finish this. Time. Uh, which one are we on? Uh, enter the Dire Chemical Sewers. That's right. I can't believe that. That's just ridiculous. I could go back, but you know what? I don't I don't want to go back right now. Let's continue with the primary quest. We can always go back to do that daily quest. Okay, but at least we've got the church explored. So, on to the road. Oh, that is... That's the road. Let's turn my sound effects. Hold on, do I have my. Are my sound effects off? Oh, you're right, I do. Thank you. So tempted, but you know what? I think I've got plenty of aluminum back at camp. Grizz says the game certainly has its quirks, good and bad. Having to find the story versus being told the story is a nice twist, but it's Fallout with your friends. Yeah, I have a similar opinion. I like the idea of a game where the, the story isn't spoon fed to you, where you gotta go out of your way to figure it out. All the pieces are there, but it's a puzzle. Um, you know, that's not the way the other games have been. I understand initial, uh, oops. Okay, someone's about, oops. I understand initial resist, uh, ris, r r uh, I, I understand why that is resisted by many players in the, in the, in the player base. I get it, but it's something that I really enjoy. 
So the game is certainly not for everyone, which is something I said in my in my video on my thoughts about Fallout 76. Um, and that's okay. Not every game has to be for everyone. Robert says, what's your favorite weapon in Fallout 76? So far, my favorite weapon is this lever action. Actually, I don't know. The black powder pistol is pretty cool. And the black powder rifle. Coming. Where'd you go, rubber brain? And now I gotta get up there for the fusion cores. Every robo brain drops a fusion core. Another reason why fusion cores are not at all rare in this game. Tom says, I'll definitely donate 50 bucks if you play Fallout New Vegas, New California. Um, yeah, I'll play the New California game someday. But it's not high priority right now. Another fusion core! Woohoo! Tom says, and I'm not hating, I absolutely love your videos. Just a big New Vegas fan. Love you, Ox. Thanks, man. I love New Vegas as well. One of my favorite all time games. Uh, the mod, New California, is not made by the people who made New Vegas, it's a fan made mod. Um, but of course, it's, it's, uh, I hear great things, and it look, looks like one of the most polished <coughs> mods I've seen. Um, but again, I'm, I've, I have other priorities right now. I see another fusion core. Jacoby says, tip from a music producer, look into using a sidechain compressor to duck the game audio while you're talking. Use your mic audio as the signal. Uh, well, uh, okay, that sounds like great advice. I hope I can remember that when my broadcast is done. Who is shooting at me? Where is this coming from? Really? This Protectron way over there? I'm gonna end up clearing this entire place again. I'll just take the Fusion Core and be on my way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, where's that door? Where is that door? I think there's on the other side here. Ah! Well, let's see if robots follow you inside. Ah, there we go. The sewers. That's right. We found this door. Last time. What? Hello? Corpse. Wearing a Nuka World outfit. Alright, let's drink something. Ooh. 
what have we here? A game grimace ghoul. Oh man. I think we've uh, stumbled upon a labyrinth. <coughs> Belnai the Russian spy says Ox love the vids. When are you gonna do one on Modus? Not sure I know what you mean there. I will eventually get through everything in the game, but for right now, I'm focusing on the primary quest after having done a number of side quests. And, uh... That's where I came. That's a dead end. That loops around there. There's a body there, and then a big vaulted room there. Another vault dweller? They always cover the vault. Plasma cores, okay. Might need those. Air says, hey Ox, greetings from Kentucky. I've been a sub for uh, the last year. Really enjoy your content. I've started playing Fallout again, thanks to you. And I just started playing Fallout 76, thanks to you. Keep it up. Well, thank you very much. And that brings us back here. All right, well, let's go this way. Ox, remove the rads. I will when it gets, you know, when I'm about to die. <laughs> Might as well be economical with what I've got. Okay, so we've got a big loop. That goes deeper in. That's probably where I need to go. So let's complete the loop. It looks that way. A 
And there's another path off that way. Okay. And another path off that way. Okay. Hello, what have we here? Alright, let's backtrack. Gotta make sure I got everything. There is this pipe. So that leads back here. Okay. Well, we found the vault dweller, which leaves this pipe. Your gear has protected you from waterborne disease. Kendall Sims. Well, looks like I'm here early because that's a named enemy and uh, it's probably, there's probably a reason why I should find her here. Okay. I believe this may go back into that big room. And indeed it does. Great, well, we're, we're understanding this layout, um, and then once we understand it, we will head into the bunker portion. And sure enough, this comes back out here. Thank you for the tip, Tristan. Yes, 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 I know my rads. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll take care of it in a minute. I know where that door leads, but for the sake of completeness, I do have to zone out so that I can show it off in the video. But before I do, let's take a rest. Uh, and drink something. Tillian says, how did we get here? I just joined the stream. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, well, we, um... We explored Dire Chemical in a past broadcast. And... And at the time, we didn't have the keys to these underground bunkers, but now we do. Holy fusion cores, Batman. And so, now that we have the key, we're coming back to explore what's in the sewer. Error 404 says, what's been your favorite place to visit in 76 so far? Um, oh, this is an interesting scene. They were so cold, they were burning pre-war money on a campfire. Oh, these rotting corpses are just horrifying. So these were raiders. <coughs> uh, my favorite place so far... It's really hard to pick. You know what? I'm going to pop a, uh, a rad X. I really love the cranberry bog. The bog is great. Maybe cranberry bog is not very worth it. The bog is wonderful. And then, of course, the beautiful vistas in the forest and... Other places are great as well. Look at my fusion cores. I had zero when I started streaming. Now I have eight. All right, we go, we'll go this way. We know this leads to the same bunker. Hopefully we'll find some food because I'm getting hungry. Looks like someone's been here before. Here we find the corpse of Duncan McCann. Happy hey anniversary. Hey there, big guy. It's your lovely wife coming to you not live by way of this rickety old recorder that miraculously still works. I figured, what better way to wish my amazing husband a happy anniversary than a very private, seductive, borderline X-rated holotape. Oh my goodness. Uh, and then I remembered, we have kids. <laughs> Get in here, boys. Hi, Daddy. Mommy told me to wish you uh, both a happy anniversary and remind you how lucky you are since she's so pretty. And that she dated you even though you didn't like sports. And, uh, and she likes it when you do the dishes. Um, she, and when you teach us how to play baseball even though she's better than you. But she does not like it when you snort. <gasps> Lucas Alexander, I said no such thing. Duncan, I said no such thing. <laughs> but you do, Mommy. You tell me e each every morning. Okay. Okay, enough, you two. Get out of here. Go play with the other kids. <sighs> you don't suck at baseball, but you do snore. And I wouldn't trade you the world. Even in times like this, you know, I look at all you've given me and all you've done for us, and I couldn't ask for a better husband. Happy anniversary to the best man I know. I love you, Dunkey. Wow. <clears throat> they give you that touching holotape right on his corpse. Ugh. Rough stuff. Hello, hello. Maybe that's the way we'll go when we leave. But for now, let's continue down. Sarah Samir. 
And then this is the way we would have com uh, come if we came through here. Well, there's the hunting party. We found them. To uh, anyone who will listen, my name is Lucy Hardwick, and I'm here with many others just like me. We may look like those mindless things we call ghouls, but we're not. We're still people, real people with the thoughts and feelings and all those other things that make us all human. Lucy, they're here. Everyone grab a weapon. We're not going down without a fight. What? Oh my gosh! party of Harper's Ferry. <sighs> Allie Frankenstein says, or Frankenstein, veins remind me of the last part of the War of the Worlds. Eat food now. Yeah, yeah, when I find some. You guys are talking as if I've just got this magic stockpile of food I'm standing on, and if only I'd sit down to eat it, everything would be okay. But no, I have no food. No food. Kinetic servos, gym pack, minor uniform. Got the cup. That's where I came in, and this leads back out. Break it down. Oh, ghouls killed his wife and his kids. And then when his own fellow townsfolk turned to ghoul, even though they weren't Feral, he blamed them for the death of his family and then hunted them down to the basement of Dire Chemical before succumbing to himself. Man. Bethesda, why? I want one box. You go all over this doggone game and they've got boxes of food everywhere that you don't need. But when you finally do need some, it's like a desert. Not a dessert, but it should be, because I'm hungry. All right, out the top we go. Now, uh, that completes the side quest. So that's going to make a wonderful little episode on the Free States and Dire Chemical.
when we get there. I wonder how I'm going to do that because they're kind of out of sync. But then now we got to go to Charleston. We got to go to the Capitol building and find Sam Blackwell's terminal. Which means we can go to camp. Because our camp is on the way. Oh, for Pete's sake. Yes, 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 yes. Freedom to the woods. Run to the woods. Run to your freedom. Glow on fungus, gonna make myself some glow on fungus soup. Okay. No more mole rats. Actually, I take that back. Mole rats, please attack. I need your meat. Any mole rats want to attack, please? Let's craft up all this meat we got. Soup. And then I just got tea and juice. No more soup. Tea, tea, juice. All right. Grilled rad roach. Glowing meat steak. Glowing fungus soup. So like a carrot stew, I can make carrots, carrots. And then weren't there other plants out here? There was like a firecracker thing, right? Oh, but that just quenches thirst. I could make a silt, there we go, firecracker berry. <clears throat> and some silt bean stew. Yeah. See if we can make some more soups. Ah, loving the silt bean. I don't think I can make a soup with the mute group. Epoch with the tip, thank you, Epoch. All right, let's do prepared. What? What am I missing? Uh, carrot soup. Oh, boiled water. Allie says, sent SC when I'm an hour behind trying to catch up. I guess I don't know. Hey, hey, rats! You came just in the nick of time. Any more? Any more rats? I hear one. Where are you, buggers? I've got a little farm here. Don't you want my tasty vegetables? Yeah! Give me that meat. Come here, you little rat. <laughs> Any more? Nope. Yep. Where'd he go? Where'd he go?
There. Oh. Oh. Yes. Any more? I need a rad rat steak. I'm hungry. Nope. All right. Let's get some dirty water, boil it up, and make ourselves a stew. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. No, 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 no. Tom says, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Indeed. Cody says, claim Sunrise Meadows Workshop just north of the Poseidon Power Plant. There's a factory there where you can make rad free food. Oh. That is a thought. But let's craft up this rat meat. Mmm, rad rat stick. Prepared. I could have sworn I could have made a soup. Erd Epoch says the only reason... Ew. That's disgusting. I'm not going to read that. Bludak says if you're not over encumbered with food, supplies, guns, and ammo to a point you can't ever fast travel or sprint, then you're blind. <laughs> Indeed you are. Oh, that's right. I forgot to boil the water. Carrot soup. Silt bean soup. Tarberry juice. Firecracker berry juice. Carrot flower nectar. Level 47? Man, how did I do that? All right, well, hold on. Where's our... We're at about half there on food. Let's eat some of those soups and steaks. Mmm, silt bean soup. Actually, that's going to take care of both. Okay, so let's just do the steaks. Rad rat steak. <sighs> that soothes the hunger. And now... Level up. Goodness, uh, I'm almost to level 50. Uh, 9, 11, 3, 4, 14, 8, 7. 9, 11, 3, 4, 14, 8, 7. One more into agility, one more into intelligence. But what's the next one? 40, better criticals, luck. All right, let's do one more into agility. And then let's see if we can open up another luck. Better criticals, hey! Vats criticals now do 20% damage. Wait a minute. Do I really want that? I don't use a lot of criticals, do I? I'll do it. All right, so... Well, that was a good one while well, it lasted. Actually, I really don't need Scrounger. But that's taken up two perk slots. Okay. So then let's put in better criticals. And Grim Reaper's Sprint. Do I not have Grim... Oh, I do have it. Okay. Storm Chaser. No, Dry Nurse. Oh, no, I don't need that. Stimpax may regenerate edible meat tissue. <laughs> That's such a weird one. All right, Storm Chaser. Then I can put one into Agility. Uh, Light-footed. Since I had it. We're almost there. I just need three more points into intelligence, and my entire thing is done. Lone Wanderer 4, Lead Belly Solar Powered, 
I need a few of these perk cards, which I don't have yet. This one, I think, is completely done. All right. Now, where was I? Scrapped all junk. Let's store all scrap. Ooh. And I'm encumbered. There, my, my camp is full. I already have Mysterious Stranger, but I didn't want that for now. I have a lot of adhesive. A lot of adhesive. I don't need that much adhesive. I don't need the death claw hand. Why don't we got that in there? Bone shards. I don't know if I'll need that. <clears throat> Molded plastic. Steel. All that steel. But then again, I'm going to be repairing power armor soon. So I don't want to... Get rid of that. Waste oil. I suppose I could try to upgrade my power armor. To level 45. Is there a level 50 version of the excavator suit? Oh, speaking of which, do I have any power armor pieces that I've been storing? I should be high enough level now. Nope, I've got it all. I know there's a level 45 version of some of this, of the excavator armor, but I don't know if there's a level 50 version. Excavator goes up to 45. But then Get Boyd says yes, or Get Bodied, yes, there's a level 50 excavator. But then Greg says, nope, only 45. All right, well, then I need a new helmet. Definitely new legs. Left leg and right leg. Okay, so let's see if we can craft a left leg and right leg. Left leg. Oh, screws! How am I that low on screws? And right leg. Alright, let's only do one leg at a time. Oh, but I can't even... I'm low on black titanium and screws. Okay. Black titanium and screws. How am I that low on black titanium and screws? Here I was all about springs, and look at all the springs I've got now. But it's black titanium and screws. Well, I could at least do the helmet, right? Nope, black titanium and screws. Okay. Those both should be fairly easy to find. Uh, let's uh, put some in our inventory. Hold on, black titanium and screws. Black Titanium. Tag it. Oh, we don't have any screws in our inventory. Let's tag screws temporarily. So this was not my solution to get rid getting rid of all my junk. Okay, let's see. What, how can I lighten up? 
I mean, I don't need the auto stim marine armor right leg, even though it's an excellent piece of armor. Then a lot of this is quest stuff. All right, I don't need the gas mask anymore, or the ha hard hat, or the hazmat suit, or the miner hat. I'm keeping that for nostalgia. Don't need those, even though they're really light. Keeping that for nostalgia. I love the Union uniform. I'm keeping it just because I like it, and that for nostalgia. And then everything else is all quest stuff. I mean, I really don't need the robot left leg and the auto marine. A level 45 black powder rifle. What is that doing in my inventory? I already have a level 45 black powder rifle. Why do I have two? That makes things easy. And a level 50 combat shotgun. Oxhorn Spring Master, says Caesar. <laughs> Try bulking stuff, says Universe. There are only a few items that actually save weight upon bulking. Um, but you're right. I, I, should, I should try bulking stuff. Maybe in a bit. Jordan says, Hey, Ox, how long did it take you to gather the scrap for the excavator armor, and did you find it difficult? Uh, no, it took me about a day. It wasn't too bad. I'll get rid of the guitar sword. It's not that rare. Suppressed hardened combat sniper rifle. Why is that in there? Oh, that was my combat rifle, and now I'm using the lever action rifle. All right, I can scrap that. Don't need that. And then the rest are all legendary stuff that I kind of liked. Vampire Pitchfork, Zealot's Blade. That saves me room. All right, let's scrap all that. I just got to get rid of my Fallout uh, Pack Rat ways. <laughs> All right, here's the black powder right. Oh, that one, the condition is way up on there. Yeah, I'll use that one and scrap this one. Exact same damage. And the range is better on this one. Oh, but that's because of the condition, isn't it? Okay, so we'll scrap this one. And the guitar sword, goodbye. Really cool guitar sword. And my combat sniper rifle. You served me well, sniper rifle, but I'm all about the lever action rifle now. And uh, let's scrap all this stuff that I don't need anymore. Gas mask, hard hat, the hazmat suit, miner's hat, patrolman sunglasses. All right, let's put the black powder rifle. Make sure everything is scrapped. Okay, so I can't scrap the death claw hand. I guess I'll, do I scrap an item uh, manually? Do I have to scrap it manually? Yeah, weird, guess I have to scrap it manually. Uh, and then let's put this back in my camp. So, I need to go to a mine to kill the mole people to get the black titanium scrap. And then screws. Screws should be easy enough. Okay. Well, uh, I still want to get, get along with the... Uh, oh, hello! Hello! Oh, he's got a cool power armor paint scheme. I don't have any paint schemes yet. It's like a swamp camo on his X01 suit. <laughs> and I love his ranger hat. Hey, looking good, man. Moonstratus says, Ox, love your content. Even though watching it while playing myself makes me paranoid. I can't keep track of who's getting attacked sometimes. Keep up the good work. <laughs> well, um... Thank you for watching. Okay, did I cook up absolutely everything? Yeah. Am I carrying any water that I don't need? Yeah, I mean, why carry boiled water with me when I could just grab some from the lake? So I'm going to drop that. It's just unnecessary weight. Am 
and let's deploy our power armor. Harley says, Yeah, big fan here. How does Mysterious Stranger work in a multiplayer game? And how likely is it that the Vault Tech drops the bombs? Love your vids. I don't know yet. I haven't seen Mysterious Stranger work. I hope to see so soon. And I did an entire video on, on what I thought about Vault Tech dropping the bombs. I still think it was more likely that it was China, but it's entirely possible that it was another company like Vault Tech or maybe Aliens. Ox, you have black titanium in your camp. Smelt it, please. Is that true? Smelt. Okay, but I don't have enough. That's, all right. So I'll keep looking for that black titanium. All right, now let us continue with the primary quest. We finished that side quest. We solved the mystery of the Harper's Ferry hunting party, which was great which means we're only tracking one thing now, and that's coming to fruition, which is the next step in the Free State's primary quest. We need to head to the Charleston Capitol building and load a terminal into, a load of holotape into Sam Blackwell's terminal. <clears throat> now, I need to step away to get some water. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, unless you want to. I'll be back.
I'm back. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm alive. I'm alive and I've got some water. Still got a bit of coffee left. And it's daylight. On with the quest. Legend Jabemaga says, I have mysterious stranger and I just summons him and he aggros PVE. Enemies then shoots them and then shortly after he leaves. Okay. There was a Scorch Beast, everyone says, and I somehow survived. Whoa, what was that? Oh, the Grafton monster. Yeah. Where are your eyes, man? You're not gonna find me without eyes. I take that back. That was a pretty impressive uh, strike. Blaster Law says, have you found any hidden bosses like Swan from Fallout 4? No, I haven't, not yet. Alley up. What, where, where did it go? And there's his blood. I jumped down here just to loot his corpse. Where did his corpse go? Come on, man. It was the Grafton monster. Oh, well, back to Charleston. Now, if I recall, entering through this back door is going to put us really close to Sam Blackwell's terminal. So let's do that. Mm. 
nuclear material. I'll take it. Okay, <clears throat> Sam Blackwell's terminal. Now everything we know about, oops. <laughs> oh. You know what, I'm not gonna waste ammunition on these guys. I'm having so much fun with that, but I am. <laughs> ah, so great. Oh, you want to try now? I wish Pain Train was a little bit more responsive. I mean, I, I touch them, then there's a brief moment, and then they finally die. And that's a bit of a bummer. But it, it, it at least it works. Okay, back up the ramp. Let's see if we can find Sam Blackwell's terminal. Oh, where's the ramp? Doggone it, did I get myself lost? Oh, here we go. Senator Blackwell, traitor! And then we read this official notice in my last live stream. I'll bring it up really quickly just for those who missed it. <clears throat> but this is explaining why there was a, um, a new ballot initiative. Like they were voting in a new senator. Because Sam Blackwell went traitor by joining the free states. We even see it on his wall. He wrote, live free or die, and then someone else scrawled it out. Senator Blackwell's terminal. Uh, G26 30, uh, security clearance required. Violators will be prosecuted at the highest level. Enter security override. The password entered is incorrect. Okay, so we need to load the holotape. We'll load Senator Blackwell's holotape, and let's see if it's at the very bottom, because of course it's gonna be at the very bottom. Usually when I have to do something like this, I have to scroll to the very bottom. Jacob's holotape. These are all of the new holotapes I've gotten too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Access Sam's terminal.
thinking, thinking. Trying to remember. We went through an entire quest getting the Master Override holotape. Where is it? Oh, Master Holotape. Uh, initiate. Initiate program file scan, okay? Scan failed, terminal is under lockdown. Retrying, 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 unable to bypass terminal lockdown. So it still won't work because... The terminal is locked down. Now let's see if we can figure this out. There are a number Really kids? Look at these guys. Level 9. He's attacking me level 9. All right. Security terminal. Let's see. G26 security clearance required. Violators will be prosecuted at the highest level. Well, let's try the master holotape here. Just put this at the beginning of my list. Initiate program file scan. Unable to look at required files. Password reset. The following accounts are requesting... Resets. Any accounts that request resets that are not due to expiration must be confirmed with the requested supervisor. Ah, Sidney Malchak or Mark Hammershire. Message sent. Password security reset. The terminal now allows for one time free login grace period. All terminal activity will be monitored at this time. And then Mark Hammershire. Password successfully reset. The terminal now allows for a one time free login. Okay. Maybe from these two options. Ah, the following accounts are locked down. Please ensure proper permissions have been acquired and validated before unlocking. Authorization confidential, reason confidential. Warning, unauthorization to unlock requires signed documentation. Unlocking without proof of authorization is an act of treason. Unlock, this account is now unlocked. All right, that was easy. Now we can load the master holotape in Sam's terminal. Where did they go? <laughs> they got bored. 
Okay. Oh, they're fighting each other now. Come on, Porter Diner. Luck be a lady. Nope. Okay, well, we need to go back to Sam's terminal and I'm trying to figure out. Okay, now we can load the master holotape. Well, that was a fun diversion. Let's see. Master, 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 master. Oh my god. Where's the master holotape? There it is. All right, initiate program file scan. Pat yourself on the back, because you just got yourself some top secret security codes off the U.S. Senator's terminal. Next up, the closest relay tower you can find, where you get to upload all that hard-earned data. You're officially halfway done with the final part of this process. I mean, that's not like I'll ever really know, but one can hope, right? So what, did she hack herself into the PA system of... The Charleston Capitol building? <laughs> so she could talk to me? Is that what we were supposed to believe? Where's that staircase going up? Everyone is saying, Ox, kill him. Look, I don't want to kill him. They're just having fun. Where's that? Where's that doorway? It's no challenge to kill a level nine player. Why would I do that? That's not fun. There it is. No, she left a series of unlockable messages. Oh, hey. Master holotape into the relay tower terminal. Oh, and I'm presuming, yeah. So I need to go towards Uncanny Caverns. All right. Let's uh, finish exploring this rooftop. Helicopter landing pad, and that's it. Okay, what do I know that's over there? Nothing. How much is it going to cost to fast travel to Bleeding Cates? Five caps. Okay, I'll do it. <clears throat> oh, whoa, what? Why am I getting all of these? Oh, any relay tower. Eh, okay. All right. This was just the closest one. 
Uh, well, might as well. Might as well, since I'm here, discover a new location. You were asking me what sites I thought were the most beautiful earlier in the program. It's really hard to pick. This is one of them. I love the lush vegetation, the West Virginian trees. Walking into the forest here. One of my favorite things about the game. All right, it makes sense this is gonna be at, at the top of the hill. It's a relay tower. Let's see if we can wind our way up there. Stack on rock. Yeah. Ah. Very different when they're level 47, huh? And suddenly I'm thirsty. Damatam says, watching those guys try to wail on you was hysterical. You would think that seeing how leveled you were would have deterred them. No, they knew they knew that I wasn't going to attack. Oh, hello there. Nerd, Paco. And Scotchy. He's a fist weapons build without power armor. That's pretty cool. Scoped Goss Rifle? Oh my gosh. Gauss, I should say. Oh, yes! Yes! But does it count as Rifleman? I have no ammunition for it. I wonder if it still benefits from the rifleman perk. Let's loot up. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. I removed Scrounger. Gauss Rifle does benefit from Rifleman. Huh. Jason says, the long and arduous trek to the top of the mountain, then when you get there, you find a nice little trail that was beside you all along. Yes, isn't that the way of things? Bye. Oh, I love that Gatling gun. That's a cool little gun. I found one at Lexington when I went there for the first time. It's a pretty awesome weapon, buddy. Supply requisition, globe, broken doll, bottle cap, plate. Stim pack. I'm not going to take any water, not when I can boil it back at camp. All right, let's uh, get on with this terminal and let's prepare it. And load the holotape. Let's see, emergency management. Note in case of emergency, authorized users may utilize U.S. government supply and requisition holotapes to connect with the automated NCR. A systems. We'll do that later. Scorched detection communications. Offline, offline. Power repair unit active. All right. So let's load the master holotape. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There it is. Oh. System detected, sit back, relax, and let the holotape work its magic. Follow the option that appears below for guaranteed results. Initiate file upload. Initializing protocols, upload routing schematics, access codes, priority message, voice files, upload complete. Success, scorch detection system reboot required. Reboot the system at Abby's bunker. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, screws and my office desk fan. Any other screws around here? Let's move that way. Oh, thought I looted that. All right. Back to Abby's bunker. Let's see if we can make use of my camp to avoid a really, really, really expensive fast travel. Where's my camp? There it is. Yeah, Abby's bunker's way up there, so we'll go to camp first. That'll be a cheaper fast travel. Wrap our junk. And store all junk. Now on to Abby's bunker.
All right, let's reboot. Okay, reboot the system at Abby's Bunker. Scorch detector system network detected. Reboot required. Reboot. Ignoring any and all possible glitches, you are officially the most amazing person in all of Appalachia. And hopefully not the only one. The Scorch detection system is fully up and running. If you had any idea how long it took us to just get half the system functional, the lives lost, my brother, my dad, and yours truly, of course. Is that it? Are you done, Abby? Now, whenever the Scorched are around, the detectors will pick them up and broadcast a message to your pit boy All that's left is the means to fight them off. If you haven't already, check my terminal to read about the traps we've created for the Scorch Beasts. Hopefully, they're still in working order, and they're your best bet at making those flying freaks manageable. Okay. Beyond that, the only ones with any real means were the Brotherhood of Steel. Obviously, they didn't last, but they packed some serious firepower. They took their last stand somewhere in the bog at a place called Fort Defiance. But, thanks to their code names, I have no idea where it is. You'll want to start at Camp Venture, Eddie's old survival training center. I've also put everything I've got on the Brotherhood under an entry called Fort Defiance on my terminal. Good luck out there. And, thanks. If this holotape is playing, it means our lives and all this work meant something. All right. Whoo. Okay, we completed the Free State's quests. And now we move on to the Brotherhood of Steel. I think the Brotherhood... Is... No, that's it. We've got Brotherhood and Enclave left. Okay, uh, lots of chat. Hold on. Lots of chatter and chat. Let me see the comments I missed. Universe says, at level 51 plus, be sure to level up the cheaper travel perk. Yeah, that probably would be important. Car says, where did you find the power armor station plans? And you left the master holotape behind. I don't think I need the master holotape anymore because I've completed their quests. Um, but if I'm ever down that way, I'll um, pick it up again. As for the power armor um, frame recipe, I got it as a reward for completing the um, the quest at the Garahan Mining Facility. Uh, minor matters, which is what you do to get the excavation power armor. Uh, Line Cliche says, please stash your finished hollow tips and notes. It'll make finding the open quest ones easier. That's a good uh, inventory management tip. Thank you. A Caesar joint says chat was saying the PCs left you stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I ran around uh, looking at the ground. I didn't see any bags that they dropped, but oh, well, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm appreciative for anyone try who tried to leave me anything. <clears throat> All right, before we leave Abby's bunker, let's take a look at her terminal here. All scorch detectors are fully functional at this time. Great. Communications uplinks. Get to take a look at her other terminal, Abby's workstation. Access, access codes. I think that, uh, Sam Blackwell. Scorch detectors. So we need to move on to Fort Defiance. And I believe those are in the Free State's notifications. Nope, where did it? The Glowing Swamp, the Vine Heart. I'm confused. Where did she say? Okay. All 
Okay, that was locked previously. So we just got that. And the access codes was locked previously. So we just got that. Okay, let's go to Abby's personal bedroom, see if there was something there regarding... Yeah. Yeah, Fort Defiance, there we go. And the Brotherhood's gone, their last message was about Defiance falling wherever that is. Now Rally's putting together a group to see what they can salvage from the old stomping ground of Camp Venture. They may have been jerks, but if anyone stood a real chance against the Scorched, it was the Brotherhood. I'm curious about what happened, but that would mean finding this Fort Defiance. And from the sound of that message, it's probably crawling with Scorched. Gotcha. So that's what you wanted me to read. Uh, Mike says, been on the fence about 76, but the more I play, the more I get that good Fallout feeling. Partly because thanks to your to you. Love you. Keep it up, Ox. Well, thank you so much. I'm kind of sad that we've finished the Free State stuff, because I, um, I really wanted to like the Free States. Traps at Camp Venture, left behind by the Brother of Steel. I believe we read this already. Yeah, I really wanted to like the Free States, um, and it was a fascinating quest line, but I just didn't feel like I got enough. Like, I didn't, I didn't learn enough about them. I wish I knew more about their philosophy. Like, if they had a, a manifesto or something, that would be great, but everything is just... Like, the most we get out of them is that they don't like the government. I mean, there's plenty of reasons not to like the government in the Fallout universe. Don't get me wrong, but I just wish there was a little bit more to them, you know? Okay, well, uh, let's let's continue with the... Um, let's get rid of this side quest. I don't remember summoning a supply drop. And let's go towards Defiance Has Fallen. Abigail Singh never had a chance to find the Brotherhood of Steel's headquarters, some place called Fort Defiance, but she did know the location of one of their bases, Camp Venture. George Rayburn says, hey, hey, buddy. Hey there, George, glad to have you here. We Are Venom says, do on Cliff quest line first, please, Ox. I appreciate the recommendation, but I I'm gonna continue with the primary quest for now. The Enclave will always be there. Let's make our way to Fort Venture, a place we have visited in the past. Thomas says, Ox, do the Enclave quests to find out more about the Free States. Oh, is that where we learn more about the Free States? Okay, great. Well, I'm really eager to do the Enclave quests, but again, I'm going to do this in order um, so that I don't miss things. Uh, you missed hollow tapes in the trash bin. Yeah, I read all of those hollow tapes in a previous episode. I turned this place upside down. I made sure that I didn't miss anything. Okay, uh, let's find our way. Oh, do I have to step out? Find the location of Fort Defiance. What is, why is that, why is that hovering on me? That's weird, but I know, I, so I gotta go to Camp Venture to find the location of Fort Defiance. Why is it sending me to Sugar Grove? Let's just go to Camp Venture on our own. Where is Camp Venture? It's, it's somewhere around here. There it is. Okay, it's right in front of my face. Now let's go to treetops. Man, I'm running out of caps. Did you have any issues with the mistress quest line? I can't get past the initiate promotion. No holotapes or dress comes out. Um, so, yes, actually. It's really deceptive. And I cover this in the video that I'm going to publish tomorrow. But after you finish Lewisburg, when you get back to the, um, to the Mistress of Mystery headquarters and you log into the terminal, you have to log in with Natasha Hunt's holotape. Not your own. So you log in with her holotape, and then you log in under her credentials. Then you have to promote your user account inside 
that computer. Then you have to back out of Natasha Hunt's user credentials, log in with your user credentials, and then there's a screen that talks about getting the new holotape, and it's deceptive because the screen loads and you think that's everything, but it's not. You have to click the screen again to hit a second page where you find a button called continue that you then have to click. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, hi. Hey, Scorch Beans. You just keep going. You just keep going. That's right. That's right. You click continue to eject the holotape. Then you get the holotape. Then you have to go to the fabricator to craft the garb of mysteries. Well, let's just creep out of here quietly and uh, hope that Scorch Beast goes away. <laughs> oh, just go away. Just go away. You doggone bleeding scorch face, go away. Okay, there's Camp Venture. All come out of the door at once, please. That's great. <laughs> oh, it's like they're on a little uh, train, a little. As long as that Scorch Beast doesn't come in here, I'll be fine. I'll kill the Scorched. I don't even care if it's a level 50 Scorched. I just don't want any Scorched Beasts coming after me. Not right now. Someone's attacking the Scorched Beast. I'm trying to make good use. Hey. Scorch Beast. What is he doing over there? Is he flying right towards me? Is he flying towards me? Oh, oh, I think he's flying towards me. Get down. Get down. Oh. oh, now he's over there. Are you trying to flank me? <laughs> Where's your body? Where's your body? All right, let's hop down into here. Bit of a firing range, cool, cool. Prower says, where can you find the power armor workbench blueprint? I found it by uh, completing the minor miracles quest. It's a crest reward. Shelly's letter. Brant, remember how crazy you said I was to join up with the Brotherhood of Steel at Camp Venture? How you said I wouldn't be able to hack it, that I'd quit within a week? Well, I'm writing to tell you that you were dead wrong. This is where I belong, side by side with people who give a crap about this world. Senior Knight Wilson treats me like I'm important. Whoops.
what was it called again? Brent's Hollow Tape. Uh, uh, what was it called? I missed it. <clears throat> Anyone remember what what it was called? So I can look it up in my inventory. Sophia, no. Shelby's note. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shelby's note. Shelby. 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 Shelby's letter. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Senior Knight Wilson treats me like I'm important, like I matter. Something you never did. I've found my calling, and I'm not coming home. The Brotherhood is my new family now. Now who's laughing? Shelly. Well, I'm glad she found family, but it sounds like she did it for the wrong reasons. Dandy boy apples. Yay, food. Ah, uh, too heavy. Oh, that's right. I don't have scrounger anymore. <laughs> I gotta remember that. All right, Brotherhood, I am so happy to discover you in West Virginia. Let's find out what you've got to say. This bay is for persons wanting to fire small bore firearms. All targets must be within 20. Okay, hold on a minute. So, no Gauss rifle ammunition. So, getting Gauss rifle ammunition for my Gauss rifle is going to be very tricky. Have this beautiful new Gauss rifle. 182 damage! Oh, it's so beautiful! It's the same level as my lever action rifle. And the fire rate. Oh, but the fire rate is much, much better. Oh. I wonder if I can craft any. Let's step out of here really quickly, see if we can grab some Gauss rifle ammunition. Oh, I got it crafted at a chemistry station. Josiah says, I'm Nerd Paco. I have almost 200 for it. Wow. I wonder how much that weighs. <laughs> Nonsensical Alexis says, Ox, I just want to say thanks. I can honestly say you've helped me to find more enjoyment in exploring different areas and more in depth in my own game. And I look forward to your streams and lore videos. Well, thank you. Okay, A and X silencers, accuracy and stealth. All in a convenient package. I love seeing posters and advertisements about companies before the war. Some of my favorite parts about Fallout lore. Okay, so we've got a tower over here in the corner of Fort Venture. Oh, it's under energy ammo? Oh, I thought I had to do it at a chemistry station. Okay, I didn't realize it had its own ammo category. Thanks, everybody. Glad you're here. <laughs> I wonder how much more difficult this game would be for me if I wasn't doing it before a live audience. <laughs> All right, let's go craft some. Energy ammo. Lead and steel. Not too bad. A lot of steel. Not too bad. Let's make 15 cartridges just for now. And, uh... Then we'll see how it, how it fares. Kiwi Kiwi says, does ammo and chems take up weight? And indeed it does. Mm -hmm. 
Sean Torres says, hey, Oxford, are you worried about Article 13 and the EU? It could change the way content sharing works everywhere. I admit I don't know everything about it, but you should look into it. Uh, I'm not terribly worried. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not terribly worried about it right now. Um, maybe someday. Well, I'm looking forward to the opportunity uh, to use this weapon as it is intended. Now, this is the terminal we had to go to to get that uh, drone to drop. Let's take a look at it and see what we've got here. Helipad controls are for authorized personnel only. Please see Eddie Hayes for passcode. And the first one, cargo supply drop. Error unable to establish connection. That's what we summoned earlier. Next, we'll talk about upcoming deliveries. This week's upcoming deliveries send any new requests my way. Eddie, Monday, 10 gallons of purified water. Tuesday, five units of stim packs. Two cases of antiseptic. Two units of bandages. Wednesday, five cases of general rations. See me more specific. Thursdays, 12 cases of beer. Friday, 10 units of batteries. Notice dangerous tech. To all Brotherhood of Steel personnel with the last cargo bought down, Senior Knight Wilson has ordered all dangerous technology to be stored in the secure stash in the basement of Hut vest. It may not be secure as the off-site depot. It may not be as secure as the off-site depot, but good luck to any raider that tries breaking into it. The more tech we can secure, the safer our future may be at Victorium. Hut vest. Wait a minute, they were using ad Victorium this early in the timeline? What? No, 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 no. Ad Victorium, Ad Victorium is a, is a, is a, is a Roger Maxon thing. Arthur Maxon, I mean. Ad Victorium was Arthur Maxon. No one in Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas used Ad Victorium. That was something that Arthur came up with uh, for Fallout 4. I didn't realize that they were going to kind of, I mean, there's no other word for it. Redcon that. I mean, it's, it's, I'm sorry, it's, it's a small thing. It's not that big a deal, but I, in my mind, the whole Ad Victorium thing really sold the somewhat, you know, fascist uh, personality of Boston's Brotherhood of, of Steel because they were trying to, you know, embrace the uh, glory of, you know, Rome, right? which is what the Legion has done. You know, there, there have been other fascist movements that have tried to use Roman iconography for their symbols and inspiration for their uniforms, which is, you know, part of the design decision but, you know, for the Brotherhood, uh, Fallout Force Brotherhood. So that's why I thought they started using Latin for Ad Victorium, but using it all the way back here? I don't know, man. That doesn't really sit well with me. All right, let's explore everything I shot over here. And we can't loot the bodies. Here we go. Oh, hey. <laughs> cool. What have we got? Formation of the Brotherhood of Steel. Lore! Oh, Bug. Appalachia Online, Captain. I know most of you love America. Good old red, white, and blue. But those of us who served at Mariposa know something. America failed. Not because of its citizens. Who lived clean lives filled with hardship in a never-ending war. Certainly not because of its fighting men and women. God bless them. No, its leaders failed us. Senators, generals, presidents, all those bastards. Their failure almost destroyed all mankind. But I look around here, and I see survivors. People too stubborn, people too damn ornery to die. We've fought. And we finally have a small patch of safety. But having a home isn't enough. Something more. What we need is purpose. 
います。Not look to the America of old for that purpose. We have to build our own. So tonight, as we break bread together, let us forge together something new, something strong, something we can be proud of, something we can build upon. We'll preserve what's best of what's come before us and use it. And one day, we will reclaim what was lost. Let us forge. Brotherhood of steel. And there you go. Wow, that was Roger Maxon's voice. The very first Roger Maxon. Roger Maxon the first. The man who led the exodus from the Mariposa military base in Fallout 1 all the way to Lost Hills. Orson Hornbeam says the developers already said they don't care about continuity. They won't be beholden to something written 20 years ago, were their exact words. I don't recall that quote. If that was said, I would be slightly disappointed. All right, preservation of technology. And it also, you know, I don't, I, I mean, I'm not doubting you, but that quote doesn't jive with everything we've seen in the game. Like, this holotape that we just listened to is trying to tie the events of this game with events that took place in the very first Fallout game, published in uh, 1998, right? If you just didn't care about the original lore, why would you even bother to do that? All right, in the next one, uh, preservation of technology. Congratulations, Appalachia. Paladin Taggarty told me of your victory at Huntersville. I know it was costly, but future generations will thank you, as I am thanking you now. It makes me proud, but that's not why I'm calling. Ah, uh, yeah? One yeah. of the Brotherhood's standing orders is being on the lookout for valuable technology. Anything that would help us in our efforts. But as I look in every direction, I see chaos. The lights are out, and men have become little better than barbarians. Civilization. Civilization is something I think of every day. <laughs> I know Lizzie is probably sick of the word by now. And? Oh, why? Why, 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 why? To rebuild that, to reclaim that, our successors are gonna need the secrets of the past. And those secrets are in danger of slipping through our fingers forever. So far, our scribes have been tools to help protect our knights and maintain our bases. That needs to change. Brotherhood is gonna be more than an armed fighting force. We are going to be the guardians of civilization. And another 15 second break. Why is this happening? Is it server unresponsiveness? So we have to grab every schematic, every holotape, every book, every goddamn note that holds the building blocks of the old world before it is too late. Our scribes will hold on to them, preserve them, perhaps even progress beyond them. And the knights will protect them like a hard shell around a precious seed. And one day when the time is right, that seed will grow and a new civilization will be born. 15 seconds later. Yes, yes, yes. This, this <laughs> is why we were born. Don't you see it? Helping your fellow man is a good goal, a soldier's goal. But this, we will be the catalyst that changes the world. I'm sure you have questions. Pallet integrity is fully briefed. I have every faith in you, Appalachia. Elder Maxon, out. I'm very glad that they didn't try to create a physical exodus from the West Coast to Appalachia. I'm very glad they explained it away um, as communications. Okay. Now, there was a note here, Henry's letter. 
Dear Sarah, I'm starting to think coming up to Camp Venture was a huge mistake. These people are totally nuts. Did you know they call themselves knights and paladins? What the heck is going on around here? I thought if I joined the Brotherhood of Steel, I could learn to protect you and the kids, but all they want to do is create soldiers who are ready to die in battle. Maybe I should just quit and come home. Write me soon. I need to hear from you, Henry. Then there was a key in here, which I wanted to save until I looted it now for the sake of the lore video I'm going to be publishing later. We'll loot the secure storage key. Then there was another note and more holotapes around here somewhere. Yeah, two holotapes. We've got message to Marge 1 and message to Marge 2. outside of Grafton. Now I'd heard about them. Some weird military cult. Is that it? I have a feeling that's not it. Seeing them in action, though, made me... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I remember when my unit would roll in like that, all shock and all. I'll tell you what, these Grafton Raiders, <laughs> they didn't stand a chance. One of them, Knight Moreno, noticed me. Came over and chatted. Another 15 seconds later. Nice guy. Really made me rethink the stuff I've been told. It uh, came out I was in the cavalry in Anchorage. He said they had a place for me. Marsh, I'm sorry. I made it maybe 400 miles since the bombs. Oh. At this rate, Texas might as well be a million miles further. I need a... I need a unit. A place to belong. I feel like the Brotherhood may be in. It's the brakes that bother me. That's all. It's just, it's the brakes. Come on. Are you done? Is that it? Okay, I think that's it. Though I didn't hear the holotape stop playing. Did it stop playing? See, I don't know. I don't know because of all the weird break things. Is it done or not? All right, I'm gonna drink. <laughs> oh, let's drink some of my tea before it rots. Oh, and eat some soup. Oh yeah, good soups. One more soup. And then, let's see. Do I have any food? Dandy boy apples. All right, and in the next one, message to Marge 2. Marge, it's been a couple of weeks. I've had three squares, showers, working lights. Oh, Camp Venture's got power. Proper power, March. I'd feel almost human if it weren't for the senior night in the training. And, uh, and that's it. That's it, okay. Right? No more? I graduated ah! easy back in the day, and I, I know I may be a bit soft, but... Whew. Wilson's an army ranger. Well, was one. And the drills they are making us do. But as beat up and worn out as I feel that first time getting back into the 51B. Oh, no. Don't do this to me. Stop. Just you can call yourself <laughs> Knight, Paladin, Grand Poobah of the Roman Empire, I don't care. Just don't take my power armor away. They're, uh, Russian training. Big battle with super mutants happening. <laughs> Just finish the holiday, man. Just say what you came to oh, say. Good. I got me some aggression I need to unleash.
Anything else? Come on, I didn't hear the click of the hollow tape. I didn't hear the click. That's why I don't know. Am I just gonna sit here? Just sit here for a minute. Let's rest up, you know. It's good to take a break every now and then. Just sort of assess our surroundings and enjoy what's going on outside that window. Life is just so fast. Sometimes it's good to stop and smell the roses. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> um, I think that's it for the hollow tape. So let's see. There was a note in here. A note in here. There it is. Anonymous diary page. I bide my time and bite my lip. I joined the service on my birthday, and it was the proudest day of my life when I became a ranger. A ranger? A Brotherhood of Steel ranger? That's the first time I've heard that rank. Uh, Caesar says Ox defeated in 76 by passing all types. I know. Oh, so bad. <clears throat> Almost as proud as I was to be tapped into Taggarty's thunder. Maybe he's talking about becoming a ranger in the United States military before the war. And now, squires? Knights? Paladins? What the hell? I try not to roll my eyes. I try to never let my unit down. But sometimes on watch, I think about leaving. Pick a direction. I think west. Things got to be better out west. But I know too well what waits out there, so whatever stupid new rules comes out, I bite my lip and say whatever they want. But in my heart, I'm a ranger, and not even the lieutenant can take that. Army Ranger Ox, says Potman. Yep, yep, you're right, you're right. I think that makes the most sense. He was an army ranger who joined the Brotherhood because this was uh, what reminded him of his past life as an army ranger, only to be disappointed by sort of the weirdness, the weirdness of it all. All right, well, uh, I think we've exhausted this place of holotapes. Did I miss any? Anyone see any? No? Okay, moving on. <clears throat> oh, look, two more houses. Let's see if there are any holotapes in there. This one has a nice orange Brotherhood of Steel flag outside, and it's open, but let's take a look at this. Command access, password required, unlock door. If you need after hours access to the command center, please consult the quartermaster at secure storage for the password of the day. Now I believe I have the ability to unlock this door because I got the password from the master holotape that I got during the uh, free states portion of the quest. All right, let's go in a counterclockwise fashion. Terminal. Oh. Archives. Edward Eddie Hayes Jr. Files. Archived 11 to 2081. This is what we came here for, I think. March roster. Current attendees for March training. Ella Ames. Casey Banks, Randy Calloway, Rayleigh Clay, Martha Clay, Michael Clay, Jacob Lerner, Jesus Sunday, Juan Diego Sunday, and Charlie Sutton. Wait a minute. So the the responders in the free states, I mean the the free states were gonna join the Brotherhood. Schedule Edward Eddie A's Jr. Files. Uh, level one cardio, level one strength training, survival skills, building a fire, clean water, shelter. Okay, so this is week one, week two, hand-to-hand -hand combat, target practice, field dressing, safe versus poisonous flora. Week three, wilderness navigation, first aid, and signals. Week four, obstacle course completion and survival trial. Personal notes. Group assessment. <clears throat> locker key where? Oh, is, is, was the locker key what allowed me to open this up? Maybe. This next group I'm about to take on is mostly Free States members plus stragglers. So they were inducting the Free States. Time to whip these kids into shape. Maybe even convert those few who haven't seen the light of day yet. Rally says he wants my best, so I aim to please. These kids won't find any mercy in my camp. 
Ella Ames. I don't normally comment on just a single trainee, but this Ella Ames is something else. Apparently, she's got a vault -Tech University medical education on top of her extensive knowledge about Appalachian flora and fauna. She knows her way around a firearm. How to dress, is, how to dress a deer and even a couple of wrestling moves up her sleeve. <clears throat> if things really go down, as Rally is saying, her bunker's the first place I'm headed. I'm headed to, should anything happen to mine. Hell, I'd make some excuse to get locked in with her and her family if I wouldn't wouldn't upset their supply balance. And then finally, bunker development. I'm debating if I should go into bunker development during these camps. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to show what the space would be like. I could take them in, uh, to mine, but I'm not about to give, give up the location. I've heard some of the free staters have had their share of problems with locals trying to sabotage their efforts. Knowing my luck, they bother me. I put a few fellows in the hospital and no one wants that. But this was written, or at least archived, in 2081 after the bombs. Why would locals be giving them a problem after the bombs dropped? Oh. I'll have to piece it together later when I do my lore video. Here we find a note. Belmont Incident. From Knight Esposito, a training sergeant, to Senior Knight Wilson, training commanding officer, subject to the Belmont incident, I take full responsibility for Squire, Be Squire Belmont's letter home. I make no excuses. I want to point out, however, that, op that optional security and procedures was covered twice during training, but clearly the subject needs considerably more emphasis. I will endeavor, going forward, to drill this into my cadets accordingly. Ad Victorian. Uh... <clears throat> All right, well, let's, um, maybe we'll be able to piece that together once we keep going. Commander's Terminal. Personal Notes. Squires and Ranks. I had a long talk with Paladin Tagari about the ranks of the Brotherhood. Unlike most of the rest, I am fine with them in general. Scribe, Knight, Elder, all respectable names, but Squires? Belmont told me what a Squire actually was. There were young, noble kids being trained to be knights one day. Calling a grown man or woman a squire is just insulting. Apparently the argument was good. The paladin said Elder Maxon has some other ideas about renaming the ranks, but for now he's letting my people digest the changes that have already been made. The Brotherhood. So we are now the Brotherhood of Steel, still hashing out the changes we need to the training regimen. All the physical skills are still valid and under my direction. Pallet Integrity will coordinate with Elder Maxon with regard to other training changes. The current class is understandably confused, but we'll get it done. I see. So this was, this was a United States military camp. Then after the bombs, Elder Maxon contacted them and basically claimed them and turned them into the Brotherhood of Steel. So people had to go through a transition from United States Army, United States Military, to Brotherhood of Steel. Training starts. My father said I'd never be an officer. Scroungers like us never amount to anything. He was wrong. The Thunder's having a hard time with what we saw at West Tech. Experiments, FEV. But there's no going back. Even if we found a general, how can we take orders? For now, Captain Roger Maxson is the end of the line. Chain of command established. I'm coming around... On that Grant kid, he is another mouth to feed, but he's got us into West Tech, and he made sense of the lot of it. The lieutenant may be right about him. Once the camp's operational, we'll commence duty logs. In saved reports, March 26th, 86, Tex Rogers, since the Great War, this is the first training commendation I've issued, and it's well-deserved. He didn't much look like it when Marino found him, but Tex has the right stuff. Never seen someone take to the training like he did, especially for his age. With the super mutants over by Huntersville eating, heating up, had to shave a week off basic training for current class. Not only did Tex rise to the occasion, but he helped his squad through. Recommended to the Paladin that we fast-track him for promotion. The man is a born leader and has a sense of touch and has a sense of touch in a 51B that you just can't reach. All right, that's an awkward way of phrasing that. 
November 9th, 83. Okay, so we're going back in time. There's no one to send a letter to. I didn't know Kay Kelly well. We are all shocked. She was a reservist, seemed to be learning, well-liked. Poor Grant found her body. Going close to her effects, seems like she's she lost a lot of kin. Close kin. Didn't look it, but she was taken it hard. Given the were given the world full of graves and left we left behind. I suppose I should be shocked more soldiers don't take the easy way out. I hope the final mission treats you well, KK. And the final one, January third, or January third, uh, twenty eighty one, E. Fisher. Yes. Hold on one minute. Ah, uh, that was my, that was my daughter. She wants to sit in the office while I do this live stream. She's gonna go look for her iPad. Uh, where was I? Uh, recruit E. Fisher went AWOL, severe understatement. One week before graduation, E. Fisher showing promise. Officer of the watch reported yesterday morning E. Fisher was missing. So was one combat shotgun, 10 boxes of shells, our salvage recon map, and other sundries. He ripped us off, tried tracking him down, but lost him at the base of the Savage Divide. At the base of the Savage Divide. I hope to God the raiders kill him. One highly trained army ranger, almost with a specialty in demolition. There are no words. Tomorrow the lieutenant and I are going to have a talk about our recruiting strategy. Hopefully she listens this, this time. Okay, and in first class duty logs, duty log Thunder 8107A. It's been 29 days since Taggarty ordered Camp Venture online to fill out, a, fill out our ranks. <clears throat> and I'm honored to report that we're fully operational. Had to improvise the regiment without any airborne component, but everything else has been adapted. To ensure our survival, Taggarty needs true soldiers, not mercenaries. Not weekend warriors, but cold-blooded killing machines bursting at the seams with efficiency, determination, and grit. That's what I intend to give her. The best of the best. And the next one, nine recruits signed up adventure in the last month, and two already quit. Out of the remaining six, it's my opinion that four of them are worthy to join the Thunder. The remaining two will likely wash out before the end of the week. The only way to earn my respect here is to graduate. There are no prizes for second place. And the third one, in regards to the fatality, I'd like to state that while the recruit's passing was regretful, it wasn't a surprise. With an intense training regimen, some breakage was and still is to be expected. To prepare these recruits for battle... All right, sweetie. To prepare these recruits for battle, I have them performing live fire exercises against hostile targets. It's the only way to ensure they are fully ready for battle. I sent a formal request to Taggarty to join us for the fallen's, the fallen recruit's funeral. Hopefully, she can attend and we can put this tragedy behind us. I believe this is all pre-Brotherhood of Steel. As expected, we're down to four recruits. I'm getting pressure from Taggarty to accelerate training, but I'm going as fast as I can. She said she'd wait until I consider them ready. The only obstacle is the lack of power armor parts. New recruits overwork the hydraulics, which leaves the suits out of commission until they're repaired. I've asked for replacements, but Taggarty is saving them for the soldiers in the field. For now, I'll just have to make do with what we have. Pleased to report, 
that the first class has graduated and has joined Taggarty's Thunder. I'm certain that they'll prove to be worthy soldiers and honor the ideals set forth by the lieutenant and Captain Roger, Captain Roger Maxson. Okay, ignore everything I just said. <laughs> As word spreads that we're seeking soldiers, new recruits show up at Camp Venture. They're eager to learn what the Thunder has to offer, and some are ex-military, perhaps looking to rekindle that sense of structure they lost after the bombs. Perhaps in a few years we can call ourselves an army. That would be a hell of a thing. All right, we've got oh, yeah, lots of stuff here. Let's read. Let's listen to the about the Brotherhood first. Thank you, Captain. It's just us. Lizzie, what's on your mind? A brotherhood of Steel. What's that even mean? The men over here are confused. We need to do something bold. We can't just stay the U.S. Army. What's going to happen? And this is only a matter of time. Is some general or some goddamn politician is going to exit a vault and start ordering us around. And worse, they'll order some grunt to start the whole goddamn cycle again. Another wave of nuclear death, and if that's not enough, they'll do it again. You know they will, Lizzie. It ends with us. We won't let them. Uh, I understand. But a brotherhood? Knights? Am I supposed to call you what, Elder? Words have power, Lizzie. They build identity. They take on a meaning if you keep using them, even if it didn't exist before. It was the knights and the scribes after the fall of Rome. Rome! Protected what was left of Western civilization. So we are the new knights, and our role is similar. But we'll need more than names. We'll need new traditions, our own... Something people can believe in to their core. Is this necessary? What else can I do? Declare myself president? Make you a senator? Ground, Lizzie. Something's killing us. More than the rads and the freaks out there. Depression. People have lost everyone. Every goddamn soul. Wives. Kids. Loved ones. Even the goddamn mailman. Place it with something. Otherwise, people's souls will wither. We'll be little more than walking dead men. I'll do my best to see the orders carried out, sir. Give it time, Lizzie. People have a hunger to believe in something. Just let them work their way to it. I wonder how that particular holotape gone all the way here. Perhaps it was a recording between Elizabeth and Roger Max and who was still on the West Coast. Letter to Tommy. Tommy Knight Wilson says we're deploying tomorrow. Graduation's early. Fort Defiance needs men now, apparently. I know you don't approve of my decision to come here, but everyone's got the Brotherhood wrong. There's an army of Scorched in the bog. It's not lies. I've seen the Scorched Beasts with my own eyes. You should come. We need you. It's hard to sleep knowing I'm heading in. Training's one thing, but we'll be fighting for real in days. Makes sense to me. Defiance is the old Allegheny Asylum. We got it. There it is. Fort Defiance is the old Allegheny Asylum. Now we just need to find where the Allegheny Asylum is. Lord knows we have to be crazy to go there. I know it won't mean anything to you, Tommy, but Ad Victorium, for all our sakes, Ad Victorium. Ha ha, we got it. Now, to continue exploring this very interesting and unexpected plethora of lore concerning the Brotherhood of Steel, it's, it's kind of all here, isn't it? There's a hallucinogen gas canister. May need that later. Uh, I'll take that gunpowder. Hey! Overseer's cash! Camp Venture! Overseer's log, Camp Venture. Just who was this Brotherhood of Steel? Survivalists? Former army personnel, they, they took their training and their call signs seriously, that's for certain. Organized, efficient, access to hardware. You'd think they'd be ruling West Virginia by now, but they're gone. 
If they're following military logic, then they'll have a fortified headquarters somewhere. And a leader. Someone who knew what they were planning. Well, we got the overseer's log. Let's see what she had in here. Purified water, I'll take that. Fancy. Oh, food. Oh, bless you, overseer. Bless you. We get so much food. Oh, but we're actually okay on food right now. Well, let's eat something anyway. Get that firecracker juice. Fancy lads. Ooh, maybe some noodle cup. Mm, get some noodles. Now ah, we're good for now. Shotgun shells. I'm not missing anything, am I? I don't think so. Just drill oil can. Well, we found the location of Fort Defiance. It's an insane asylum. What did the, what were the Brotherhood doing putting it in an insane asylum? Tell you what, let's, uh, let's lighten our load a bit. I've got all these fusion cores. Let's store them in the extra frame that I've got. And hopefully I won't lose this stack like I did earlier. Fusion cores, one, two, three. Those are all really high. Those are both low, so let's just keep those two. And then, as long as we don't hop in that suit, we'll be fine. If I ever hop in it, well, I'm in trouble. I'll lose all those cores. Ah, but we're not done with Camp Venture yet. We did find... Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm glad they they all just stood there <laughs> Well, I took care of them. That was great. <laughs> Very ammo efficient. I'll take that any day. Oh, wow. 40 millimeter grenades. I think I need that right now. Okay, before I explore this corner, we've got this shack. To explore more Brotherhood of Steel barricades. Restricted area, keep out. Why? Why was it restricted? Let's find out. Hey, do we got a bit of an armory here? Looks like someone opened it for me. Hope that doesn't mean all the good stuff's been taken. We got a volatile material box. Ooh. Weapons workbench. Let's scrap all our junk. Lightens the load. Barbed walking cane mods. Military circuit boards. Oh, minigun. But I'll take the clipboard instead. There you go. That's the real treasure. Oh, the clipboards. Oh, how I love them. Plan, pulse grenades. Sweet, I can now craft pulse grenades. Uh, 50 caliber machine gun. This is only the second 50 caliber machine gun I have found, which makes me think they're pretty rare. Oh, <laughs> And part of me wishes I was a big gun character. Oh, I'm going to have to drop it later because it's just too heavy, but I want to play with it a bit. It looks like fun. Right, well, looks like that's it for the secret stash. No lore in there. And then we can head out. You know what? I have 
never fired the grenade launcher either. Is it like thump thump? Oh, thump thump. Oh, how I missed you. <sighs> I'm just wasting ammunition for fun right now. I guess I gotta scrap them. All right, well, let's scrap them. As cool as these are, I'm not gonna use them. It's a level 45, 50 caliber machine gun though. A level 45 M7. It's five pounds and that's 40, how, how, that's 18 pounds. 18 pounds, I got it. I should scrap, I know I should scrap. There's so much fun. back here. Please shoot the 50 cal. Didn't I? <laughs> so this is a Brotherhood of Steel insignia. Thunder 75. At least from everything we've been ever able to glean from inside the fort. Looks like the, the fort continues, but this is a part of the ruined fort. Bunkhouse Phoenix. Fancy lads. Lantern. Oh, and I'm encumbered. I knew it. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to have to scrap them. I hate being encumbered. I just don't have the ability to carry all of this nonsense in this game. Another, ne another note. Goodbye, Alpha. I remember the night we first arrived, half frozen to death in the blizzard, teeth chattering. These cabins seemed like one of those resorts you'd see on the television. Those were tough times, but the cabins were home. Some hole sprang on the roof, we'd get a bucket. If a beam fell down, we'd prop it back up. But the paladins said they're just too falling apart to keep fixing. It's going to be cramped in the new space, but it'll be nice to have four good walls and a roof. But I'll miss my time in Bunkhouse Alpha. I guess he's talking about uh, moving to Fort Defiance. So Camp Venture is where they were for many years until they had to move to Fort Defiance. Here we go. Survival planning checklist. Julio Oliver Oliveira says, don't scrap the 50. I know it's so cool, but I can't use it. I'm a rifle build. Vest Wilderness Survival Planning. Let your home team know your plan. Who are you with? When do you plan to return? How are you getting around? What kind of equipment you have with you? Stick to the plan. If you, de if you deviate from it, make sure you update your home team. Bring double the amount of food and water you expect to use. Exercise good judgment. If you feel lost or injured, get to safety immediately and seek assistance. Did you want to say something, Stevie? Do you want to tell people on the microphone? What do you want to say? Say hi. What's that? Hi. <laughs> yeah? Hi. What about your ABC song? A, B, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, J, O, L, P, Q, I, S, D, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> now I know my ABC. Next time I want to see you. Good job. All right. I have to go back to my, my recording now. <laughs> All right. Well, where was I? 
Okay, that's it for that one. Straw pillow. Fox hide. Everyone's telling me to sell it instead of scrap it. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys uh, liked hearing from my little girl. She wanted to hang out with daddy a little bit, and that's fine. I'm not smoking. If, she, if I was smoking, she would not be in here. But it's too early for me to smoke, so. Maybe I'll smoke during the second hour. Let's see, it's 147. Okay, I need to end the broadcast soon just to do a restart because I'm coming up on the four hour mark. And if I have a broadcast that's longer than four hours, YouTube has a hard time with it. Endurance and survival training of the Virginia's Appalachian Regional Facility. Amber Oakhart says, hey, Oxford, I love watching your vids and streams. Tonight has been a great early birthday present tomorrow. Been playing while watching your stream. OMG, say hello to your daughter. So cute. Thank you, Amber. Did you catch my Looking. Uh, I'm totally going to be one of those dads that that my daughter can manipulate just by giving me a smile. It's already that she can get away with anything with me, not with her mama, but with me, man, I just I just can't I can't be stern with her. <laughs> All right, let's finish exploring Camp Venture, and then and then let's go back. Okay, well then we have to find Fort Defiance on the map. Um, at 2 o'clock, I need to end the broadcast quickly, just so that I can restart it, and then we'll be back. Oh, man. Okay, you got me. Fine. You got me. Whatever. I don't even care. I wasn't scared. Totally not scared. Okay. You just what? You saw the man in the bathroom? He was a fake man. He was a mannequin. Do you know what a mannequin is? A mannequin is a plastic man. They put clothes on him. Yes, this is a lock. I have to, I have to unlock it with, um, with my special bobby pin key. It's open? Yeah. All right, we got a few more shacks to explore, and then I believe we will have exhausted camp venture. Ooh, more notes. Survival planning checklist. Vest wilderness survival planning, critical expedition equipment checklist. Two days worth of food per day for the duration of your outing. Multi-tool, sharp, sharp pocket knife, large machete, first aid kit, waterproof matches, a flashlight, a hand crank rechargeable radio, bags for garbage and human waste, a camera to capture fun moments and beautiful vistas, a sense of optimism. <laughs> I'm glad they added a, sem a sense of optimism. That is what I take with me every day when broadcasting this game. You have to go with a sense of optimism. Couple more buildings over there, but let's head up here first. Brotherhood of Steel logo on the side. Vast. Storage and supplies. Authorized entrance only. Screwdriver. Volatile materials box. I'm getting all the notes, all the hollow tapes. Nothing shall escape my view. But I don't see anything else in here. Oh! As I was saying, hello! What is this? We get a bit of a basement here. I wonder if we'll find anything of value. Wasn't there a hollow tape or something that said that there was a stash for the Brotherhead? The Brotherhood was holding on to some sort of stash of land weapons somewhere. Shotgun shells. Yellow paint. I'm not finding any special weapons just yet. Mini nuke, but that's just really heavy, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Oh, I'm getting all the oil. It's all mine. 
I just need screws. If I can get some screws and black titanium, I can finally upgrade my excavator power armor. And then it'll just be about the ultra sight power armor. That's next on my list, right? Although I don't have XO one yet. Oh, we got another storeroom report. This whole transition is taking some getting used to, but I thought you could appreciate this update. In the past, if a mission or a patrol was cleared for combat performance chems, the usage rate was near one was near 100%. But now half the time or more, the chems are returned afterwards. There's the other stuff too. You hear laughter more. Sometimes it's the expense. It's at the expense of the new rules, but people just seem to be happier. I think it's the sense of purpose. We know we're going somewhere. There's a plan. For to Sylvia, I think she just loves the new patch. I know you, now you can't say I never have good news, Paladin. Okay, so that's in response to the new, um, the new Brotherhood Steel life that they're all living. Electrified buzz blades. Ooh, look at this. Here we go. Biometric scanner. More gunpowder. A missile launcher. Oh, man. T-45 Tesla bracers. Might as well. Lots. I get lots of power armor mods while exploring. Combination wrench. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. I thought there was going to be something really cool here. Oh, command center password. Hey! Sweet! Uh. Command center password. I got the command center password, but where's the command center? Is that for what I already explored? Command center. Is that for upstairs? Or is that for Fort Defiance? Or maybe for upstairs. Up the hill. Unless I haven't found the command center yet. There is some ruins over here. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's a uh, twist top. Oh, okay, I like it. Weapons training, ropes and endurance. All right, well, let's check out weapons training first. This appears to be closer, and it's completely destroyed. Oh, purified water. Bunkhouse Charlie, and then this goes up to... All right, this is where I was. What? What? Did you just hear flapping? I just thought I heard flapping. All for Pete's sake. Here we are in Bunkhouse Charlie, and I got some toothpaste and got some notes. Notes in Bunkhouse Charlie. I thought I just heard flapping. That, that scares me. All right, let's move across this bridge. What? I'll let someone else toy with him for now. I am almost done with Camp Venture. Can you please not kill me until I finish exploring Camp Venture? I'm, I'm almost done. I'm so close. Did they kill him? And then is that a climbing wall over there? Yeah, it looks that way. 
Yep, climbing wall. And then, is that it? Is that it for Camp Venture? There's the inside. There's the asylum right down there. Oh, and there's a supply drop directly south of me. Oh, okay. I don't mind if I do. Nope, they didn't kill him. I hear him. <laughs> Let's go get the supply drop. And then I'm going to pause the broadcast for just a minute uh, to make it easier for YouTube's finicky servers to digest and process. And then I think I may light up a cigar. It's after 2 o'clock. Ooh, what's this? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. i got to see what this is. Whoa. And the vines are reclaiming the wasteland. Look at this. Oh, and there's still a skeleton. And look at the. It was a convoy. It was a military convoy on their way to Camp Venture. They're on their way out. Good morning from Canberra, Australia. Says Peach. Well, thank you very much, Peach. Good morning from Seattle. I have to exercise good morning and that's good afternoon. Where is the drop? Oh, I see it. Off in the distance. We are almost there. And I'm encumbered. That's right. Ah, oh, gosh. Disease cure, short Gatling gun, level 50. Oh man. All right, uh, here's the deal. I'm going to stop the broadcast, then start the broadcast. And uh, then I'm gonna go AFK for just a minute so that I can get myself a cigar. So hold on a minute. I'm not going anywhere. If you'd like to continue watching, please stick around. I'm going to be right back. Stay tuned. 